because I wasn't home when I got it. I was on my way to go like pick rocks, literally. We found a dude in the middle of fucking nowhere who's giving away boulders. Rocks are fucking expensive. I'm just going to put out my statement, go run this errand, pick up these boulders. I like Come I went on. down and picked up boulders today. Just right here, end me. When it comes down to it, would you stand in front of a bullet? When you hear it go bang, bang. When you hear it go bang, bang. When, you hear it, when it comes down to it, if I put it in your hand, could you pull it? Could you make it go bang, bang? Could you make it go bang, bang? Could you make it? Oh, no! <laughs> Good afternoon, chat. I hope you're having a, a good weekend. I hope your Saturday went well. I hope your Sunday's going well. A little PSA there for the uninitiated. Don't do it. Take a step back and order a Domino's pizza. It'll calm you right down. Long day of boulder collecting. You're going to need a little bit of energy. You're going to need a tiny little bit of energy to uh, survive that. Now, I've got, uh, I've got a stream planned. I was actually going to be reading through threads on Reset Era. Uh, but other things have come up, and <laughs> how could I pass up the opportunity to talk about them? The Quarry King himself, and other associated skeptical individuals. I would be remiss if I were to pass up the opportunity to uh, to, to throw my two cents in on that. But there are, there are a few Super Chats that are built up. Uh, I'll read through those, and then we'll jump right in. Should take a couple minutes, and we'll get, we'll get into the fun. Let's see what we've got here. Uh, from Fash Bandicoot. The Holocaust didn't happen, but it should have. Uh, Jack Dorsey apparently is doing Super Chats now. That's good to know. I know you're that Mr. Anti-Bully guy. You think you can ban evade me, boy. Alex Jones was the demo version of what I'm about to do to you. Jack is out for blood. I also like that uh, now that I've seen what he looks like, he looks like the... Uh, if you ever watch Star Trek when they go to the evil universe, you know, they're doppelgangers, and how every evil version of them just has a really shitty beard and mustache... That's what Jack Dorsey looks like. He looks like he came from the evil universe of Twitter. Like, he's the clone that broke through the, you know, the, the fucking barrier. He's the, he's the Berenstein version of our Berenstein, Jack Dorsey. And he's murdered himself and taken over and made Twitter complete shit. Ink Penification, you good, my nibba? Uh, yes, I am. Uh, Mikkel Mansbridge, 23 minutes to chemo. Chemo is now officially here. Mr. Pingus Power, I bought some... Of your Gym 81 Gym merch, still working on that coffee cup. Well, that uh, would be surprising to me. I, I don't sell merch. If you want a Mr. Medicare hat, which is just five fucking stars, go buy a marker and a black hat. And there, I saved the 20 bucks. Uh, Nemesis Raccoon, yo, how's your day going? Uh, it's going fine. Also, ever played Armored Core? Yes, I have. Oh, Nexus, myself, but curious on your opinion of the game. I like Armored Core, but I'm actually more of a front mission guy. Fucking love Front Mission. Played the shit out of that back in the day. Uh, fantastic. That's more my speed. Uh, Tuba Lizards. Hey, Ralph, Memphis Barbecue is shit compared to Famous Dave. Save money at Menards. Oh, I'm sorry. Save big money at Menards. Gotta get that sponsorship in there. Commissar Warder. Who's the biggest cuck? Zef or Boulder Boy Matt? Well, we're, be we're gonna be discussing this. We're gonna be discussing how Alpha... Uh, these skeptical individuals are. So we'll get to that question later on. Uh, just a few more here. Uh, 
Tide Vo Ocean Infinite. I've seen... Uh, I probably butchered your name. I've seen Super Chats asking you to cover glitched puppets before. Their partner, at Eevee, has tweeted out a document detailing their experience with Kiwi Farms. Please look at it and consider reaching out to them if you decide to mention either. Uh, there probably have been people that have brought it up, but uh, I, I'm so backed up on shit, I haven't, I haven't looked into anything regarding them. So I have no opinion one way or the other right now. Daniel Smith, he's not here yet. He just said he'll be late, and we're giving him cash. Are we the biggest dick riders of all time? Press F if we are. Mr. Wiseass, thoughts on the death of Terry Davis? Uh, very sad. Uh, when I first heard the news, I thought maybe somebody was just fucking around. I was waiting for a confirmation from, like, an obituary or a police report or something like that. It usually can be delayed a few days because of having to go through regional law enforcement and uh, notifications and all that. But it, it looks like it's true. It looks pretty much concrete. Wild Goose and a few other people had talked to the police department and got confirmation that the person that got hit by a train was, in fact, Terry Davis. Uh, it really fucking sucks. I think a lot of people really liked him. I liked him. Uh, and it's just shitty that he's dead. Uh, Detritus, uh, for the inevitable cucked Alaska funeral, press F. And Ragnarot Alfbright, and I butchered your name too, I'm sure. Pinochet did nothing wrong. Commies aren't human. All right, I'll get to the rest of the Super Jets a little bit. Let's, let's jump in. There's been some shit going on with Matt. Uh, well, there's been a lot of shit going on with Matt. <laughs> it's hard to not have shit going on with Matt. Uh, now, for all your mundane Matt needs, don't look to my stream or my video for that. I would recommend uh, Dame Pesos and the Soilless Matt Show. He covers all the new Matt news that you need to hear about. But there have been a lot of tweets going out, a lot of people talking about mundane Matt, a lot of shit going on with mundane Matt. So I thought I'd cover it, because how could I pass up the opportunity? Someone on Kiwi had made, a, uh, uh, made an image. And I've updated it, because I'm sure you're all curious, where is Monday Matt sitting as far as his metrics are concerned? A lot of people, when this all began, said, who cares if he loses subs? It's the view numbers that matter. Oh, his view numbers are right through the fucking floor. But the sub numbers are still going. Even after the bot buy of, like, 3,000 subs, whether that was him or not, doesn't really matter. He's already, he's already dropped back down. So here are his current numbers. Uh, this was about an hour before the stream started. I updated the number a little on the back there. 147,994. Um, he has fallen off... <clears throat> excuse me. He has fallen off a fucking cliff. You can see he's very excited. All the little mats are lined up to boulder hunt with one another. But, um... <laughs> I don't even know how to... How am I going to get into this? How, how do I want to broach the subject? Because people have been digging. I mean, people started digging after the flagging went on. People started digging just after the shit show in general. They found a lot of old accounts. His, his Odin account, where he referred to himself as a Norse god and talked about how alpha he was. They found multiple gaming accounts. They found hundreds of YouTube accounts. Just every attempt by him to be popular, to really make it, to do something. But Matt, um, you know, I guess it's, it's always right in front of you. You need to look just directly in front of you, because people started looking at his Twitter account, going through some of his old tweets to kind of see what, uh, how mundane mundane Matt is. Let's put it that way. Let me switch my background here. There we go. So let's just take a look at some of the tweets people have found. I'm sure they're all very harmless. I'm sure, I'm sure there's nothing, <clears throat> there's nothing here to, to be found. Uh, from January of 2013, did you guys, do you guys know how hard it is not to masturbate to My Little Pony? Well, that's, uh, that's different. How hard it is not to masturbate to My Little Pony? Well, I can, I can tell you I've never had the urge, Matt. Never had the urge to jack off to MLP. Now, in case you're thinking that's a one-off, or how that might interrelate to other things that he said, I want you to pair it with this one, and just take them both in context. You know, I spend too much time on the internet when seeing a woman spit out horse cum doesn't phase me anymore. Time for bed. And that, uh, that predates, that predates him talking about jacking off to MLP. So, Monday Matt is watching horses ejaculate into women's mouths. And then, about six months later, oh, four months later, uh, he can't stop masturbating to My Little Pony. Looking at bestiality porn 
suddenly can't stop jacking off to uh, Sparkle Bright. I don't know the fucking name of your donkeys, but he seems to be quite the fan. He seems to he seems to uh, be a bit uh, of a clopper. I think is the term I'm looking for. But you know, he's a guy that likes to talk about ejaculation quite a lot. In fact, have you ever accidentally tasted your own cum? Be honest. He wants an honest answer. How many times have you, you know, ate your own load? I come buckets. True story. So we have a man that's interested in what his semen tastes like and ejaculates quite frequently. I wonder what the trifecta is going to be. What's the third follow-up to this story going to be like? I've tasted my own cum once, and I'm okay with that. So, <laughs> I want you to, in your mind picture, an obese, sweaty man curled up on his bed. He's he's trying to crane his head down just as much as he can. In the background, you can hear the soft noises of horses galloping. On the wall are MLP posters. And there he is, sat on his bed, furiously going at it, aiming directly into his mouth. And he comes buckets. And he's okay with that. Because, you know, <laughs> why wouldn't he be? Just, uh, you know, look at the background picture. It probably is, his face probably looks something like that. That's probably the image that should be in your mind. That's exactly the face that he's making as he is furiously working to get, he's extracting his own soy. He's a soy farmer and he's going right to the source. It's like tapping a tree to get maple syrup, except in this case, the maple syrup is horrific and the tree is about 580 pounds and very sweaty. But it, it still doesn't end there. I mean, yeah, him masturbating to horses and eating his own semen, that's funny. But can we talk about, uh, you know, buying little girl underwear? <laughs> Have you ever sold your sister's underwear to your friends? Be honest. <laughs> that, that's, that feels like one of those tweets you'd throw out there. It, it's almost like, okay... Uh, probably a lot of you aren't going to get this, you fucking Zoomers, because you have porn at your fingertips. You've never had to go into a, a dirty bookstore. But what this feels like is him walking into a porn shop, and he really wants to get, I don't know, Anal Sluts 87, but he's too fucking embarrassed about it. So he tries to start up a casual conversation about it and just kind of work his way in there without being direct and saying, I really want to get Anal Sluts 87. That's what this feels like. Hey, anybody out there, uh, you selling your sister's little, your little sister's underwear? I might be interested. Now, why would I say little sister? How do we, how do we know it's a little sister? Maybe it's an adult sister, Jim. Stop judging people. You don't fucking know. The legal age of consent to have sex in Argentina is 12. And his, his response to that from Uberfax is tempting, but I'm still not going to Argentina, lol. The legal age to fuck somebody in Argentina is 12. Tempting. It's very tempting. But I'm not going to go to Argentina. By the way, by the way, uh, Uberfax, you ever sold your little sister's underwear? <laughs> I mean, I don't, I'm not booking a flight out there, but I'm just curious, have you ever sold your little sister's underwear? Apparently, too, there are a lot of tweets like this. What are your thoughts on sex with a 16-year-old? Should it be legal or not? I think the legal, legal age of consent in Russia is 14, so just go there. It pisses me off when girls do this, especially 13-year-old cheerleaders. Makes me the creepy old guy. <laughs> oh, man, what the fuck? Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't, didn't Mr. Mundane, didn't uh, Mr. Mundane, didn't he defend? Was it, was it uh, Gun? Who was the fucking guy recently that had all the... All the tweets come out, and he was like, oh, people are overreacting. Do you think maybe? Do you think maybe he was defending him? Because he was like, oh, shit. If anybody if anybody finds the tweets about me jacking off to horses and wanting to buy underwear from people's sisters and looking around to find out what age of consent each fucking country has, maybe that's going to look bad for me. Even more interesting. Let me see if I can pull this up. Let me, let me just pull this up. Tell me if you notice this. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just just being silly. But there seems to be something going on with uh, Mr. Mundane's Twitter account. It's almost like he's gone into lockdown mode and is uh, furiously deleting tweets. I don't know why you do that. 
What could possibly be embarrassing about the things that he says online? Let me just pull this up. Okay, is that up? Yep, all right. Do this from my suspended Twitter account. Let me see if I can make sure I'm doing the correct, the correct uh, capture here. Yeah, yeah, there we go, all right. 83,000 tweets, but look, if you scroll down, it stops right there. Uh, he's, oh, he even retweeted two of mine. Look at that. Look at that from fucking six months ago. So six-month-old, 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 all these six-month... And then we got something from, like, last week. That's a little weird. It's a little weird. It's almost like somebody's going into damage control. I don't know why they'd be doing that. I mean, he just likes to come buckets into his own mouth. I don't see what's so disturbing about that. Stop fucking judging, chat. <laughs> Stop judging this man. Okay. You're making him sad. You're making him fucking upset. <laughs> oh my god, I'm sorry. I did it. <laughs> the absolute state of the skeptic community. I, I don't know what it is with these guys, but it's like once every four months, one of them fucking implodes. I mean, first it was Kraut and T, and now it's Mundane Matt. And it makes you really wonder who's going to be next on the list. Who's going to be who's going to be jo joining uh, the fishermen and the quarry king, as far as fucking imploding? But you know, back to these these tweets about uh, you know twelve year olds and age of consent everywhere. I've got a, a video I'd like to play for you. I will go over this if you watch again. Dami Pesos, great great show, throwing out a. A little plug there for the Soyless Macho. But if you watch it, this clip got brought up, and I'm going to share it with you as well. We will jump in that uh, in a second. Read a few super chats so I don't get too far behind. And then we're going to watch a Monday Mat video. <laughs> we're going to watch an old Monday Mat video. Let's uh, let's take a look. Let's see how, how chat is dealing with um, horse porn. <laughs> see what their fucking thoughts on uh, goddamn horse porn is. Oh, Matt, you just never cease to fucking amaze, do you? Uh, Cole Marshall, God loves elephants, and so do I. Rip Terry Davis, Sword and Scales, uh, 10. Not sure if that's a secret code, but thank you nonetheless. Osir, evening, Jim. Uh, evening to you. True American Hero, did you hear Ricada, or Ricada Law got disbarred? No, I did not. If anybody's got a link to that, um, I can't imagine why he would have gotten disbarred. Uh, the Bone Sauce, have you heard anything about Ross, Jim? Uh, no, I have not. Sloop Litzman, play Baked Alaska's video. Also, Amato Paradise on Plexstorm, or you will suffer a gelking accident re resulting in your being consumed by your foreskin. Sounds uncomfortable, I'll be honest with you like that. Uh, John Smith, all hail our Lord and Savior Jimbo, Jimothy Jiminson. Huey Long, press B for the boulders kidnapped by Matt. Ocean Redux. Repkudu Matron? I, I'm butchering it, but thank you for the money nonetheless. Blood Toker, 1488, HTRTU. Have you heard the tragedy of Matt the Mundane? It's a story of a Jedi I wouldn't tell you because he'd get bored to death. Well, <laughs> I think the story got more interesting. I'm just going to put that out there. Anytime you you bring in to the story eating, uh, eating cum and uh, horse masturbation, the story suddenly gets more interesting. Zillion, Jim and AIU, have you ever been in the same stream at the same time? Uh, no, I've not. Coffin Joe, hey Jim, uh, you're the best. Stephen Irwin, thank you. Daniel Smith, I need to hear about the cuckening of Bunty King, please, Papa. I will play some of the Bunty King stuff. Ralph's covered it, but uh, we'll, we'll take a look. Clinging Mars, Mirror Universe Jim, Ultra Requiem, I'm gay. Well, thank you for sharing with chat, Dr. Scientist. We was Siri. Oh, that's right. Netflix got their hand on The Witcher. And they're going to diversify the shit out of that. I suspect by the time that show reaches television, Siri will be a 482-pound black woman. And I can't even... I don't even know... It's going to focus on that. So... We, <laughs> God. Oh, Netflix is awful, by the way. Zontar, any good anime recommendations? Uh, not off the top of my head. Not uh, watched anything recently. Couldn't tell you. Uh, King Tima B... Pour one out for uh, Terry A. Davis. Super Saiyan, go Tex, big fan, love your videos, keep up the good work, you sexy boy. Thank you. Hakajo, stuck at school working on a project tonight. Thank you for making my evening slightly more bearable. I'm hoping you're not watching this in the computer lab, because uh, all the talk about 
horse uh, horse cock and semen drinking probably not going to go over well in the computer lab finger chickens terry davis can't uh terry davis can't terry save us when he's with terry jesus because boogie 2899 is going to do a suicide stream on 911 shadow of colossus 103 is reset era the inverse of incel.me you get banned from reset era for red pilling you get banned from incel.me for blue pilling i don't know i haven't checked that site out yet read a few more here uh jack orloff the quartering is a magic the gathering themed monday match show uh you know i i from what i understand the quartering has been uh pretty consistent in taking his shots at matt uh he's one of the only ones uh from uh, that particular sphere that has uh heika daishi uh have you seen the pedo tweets from the quarry king we just covered that war dog leader dolphins versus titans game is finally over lol shortering in the weeb uh, do you play war thunder uh, not anymore JToki12, I remember a few months ago on one of your streams, I said Monday Matt was abusing the YouTube system. Feels good to be right. Uh, well, you were dead on if you said that. Caps Lock 3, can you tell us why you have one grayed out star? Yeah, it, it's it's uh, kind of like the IGN thing, you know, where they're like uh, 42 out of 10, it's okay. Uh, it, it's same kind of same kind of thing. It's just another, it's a bit of uh, Haberman lore. Uh, because he was the one that was always demanding people do 24-hour ops for him. And talking about how the site was 4 out of 5, pretty okay. Digger John, I want Mr. Medicare action figures. Probably never going to happen. Ransom, where's my Medicare clock? Rip Prevost. And I'll read one more here, and then we'll get to the Monday Matt video. Amazing, 1985. Press 1 if you want Jim to discuss Matt's archived tweets, like selling his sister's underwear, etc. on the stream. Well, you got your wish, Amazing, 1985. We are talking about that. And I'm going to bring up the Matt video now. And we've got other subjects to discuss, too, aside from Matt, but uh, let's let's take a look at this video. I'm pretty sure I bookmarked it. If not, I can find it. Uh, here we go. Here we go. We're going to watch this fucker in its entirety. Well, maybe not. Hey, all you guys out there. So this video... Okay. Now, I think I can screen share this with you. Uh, it's probably not really necessary. But uh, I'm gonna do it anyway, just so you got something to look at. It's this is back when he was just doing a solid fucking image. That's not like it really matters. But uh, where are we uh, where are we here? Window capture. There we go. This is Monday Matt's story. This is from uh, April twenty first, two thousand thirteen. Okay. Um, just to just to give you a, again talk about some things we were looking at here, talking about age of consent in twenty twelve, talking about buying little sisters underwear in twenty twelve. Talking about semen eating in 2012. So, uh, was he talking about horse masturbation at the time? Talking about horse masturbation in 2012. Okay. So, we've got all this going on. We've, we've got age of consent conversations, horses getting jacked off, My Little Pony masturbation, semen tasting. It's all there. And it's all in 2012. So let's hear his story about why I was kicked out of church at the age of 15. I'm sure it's a, a traumatic event. I'm sure it's completely real and not at all been altered because it's even more embarrassing. So let's see. Hey, all you guys out there. So this video is about how I was kicked out of church at the age of 15 for not having sex with a 13-year-old. Uh, I mentioned this yesterday in a video. Let's just uh, take a minute to really, to, to really savor the flavor of that fucking statement. He was kicked out of, okay. <laughs> okay. He was kicked out of church because he wouldn't fuck a younger girl. So he's saying at the age of 15, he was thrown out of church because he wouldn't fuck a 13-year-old. Now, I may not be the most deeply religious person on earth. I mean, I'm sure people like Nick Fuentes is much more dedicated in his Catholicism than I ever was in my uh, being Protestant. And I'm sure there are a lot of you out there uh, that are they're even more deeply than Nick. But I, I really don't seem to remember many church doctrines relating to you better fuck these young girls in our church or we're going to throw you out the door. Maybe I misheard him. Maybe we're mishearing this conversation. Let's just back that up a second, see if we accidentally misheard this. Kicked out of church at the age of 15 for not having sex with a 13-year-old. Uh, I mentioned this yesterday in a video response to, uh, to Repsian. He actually was like, what? I want to know more. As well as other people are like, what the fuck? Are you? That would be Mr. Repsion, uh, the guy that likes to sell his socks and underwear to people online because nobody watches his videos anymore. It's weird, right? It's like a, it's a, it's a callback. You know, it's a little bit of foreshadowing. 
Okay, here's Mundane Matt uh, talking to Repsion, who's gone downhill and now sells his dirty undergarments to people for nickels so he doesn't have to live on the streets. And now Mundane Matt is talking about his conversation with Repsion, as Mundane Matt is probably going to be living in a gutter soon as his metrics go down through the floor. Funny story. Let me take you back to uh, the mid-90s, mid to late-90s, 1997 to be exact. I was 15 years old, living in the beautiful Pacific Northwest, going to church at a Calvary Chapel, which is why the background image on this video is of Calvary Chapel. Uh, I was there with my friends. They got me involved in the church. I was going four nights a week. I was having a ball, loving it, you know, very much into God, into the whole idea of salvation, redemption. Now, I like the fact that he named the church. So this can be confirmed. If anybody wants to take the fucking time to do it, all they've got to do is call Calvary Chapel and say, hey, one of your former parishioners told me I can't be a member of your church unless I fuck little girls. Is that, is that an accurate statement? <laughs> is that an accurate statement? Do I have to fuck children in your congregation to be able to worship here? Because that's what this internet video told me. I'm finding my savior, yada, yada, yada. And anyway, so my buddy and I were at that age, you know, we're kind of competing over girls and everything. And uh, there was a girl there. Her name was Sonia. Sonia was 13. We were 15. She was on the cusp of being 14. So it wasn't like a huge, disgusting age difference. But that's not the point. The point is, both of us kind of dug her. You know, she was very, I want to say, this was 16 years ago, so it's, I'm trying to exactly remember who she, how she was, but she was very open about certain aspects of her life, and she was coming into her own sexuality, and as a result was interested in experimentation and things like that. Well, all that... I don't know how to put this. She was very open about her sexuality and coming into it. I just... I'm not even saying Matt is doing anything weird or underhanded, but God, it looks bad, doesn't it? When you put the tweets together with the videos, it doesn't look very good, Matt. I was thrown out of church because I wasn't plugging a 13-year-old. It's a story I think we have all can relate to. Bullshit aside, she worked in the nursery of the, or the daycare of the church. Now, keep in mind that this church was like basically... Matt, is that why you were interested in her? She was the gatekeeper to the younger ones. <laughs> Basically, in like a children's daycare center that on this weekends it became a church and on weeknights became a church. Um, and so she was working there. So she very much wanted to have a child, right? She's getting her hormones in. She's feeling, you know, I'm pretty sure she just got her period, all that kind of shit. So she comes to me one night and she was like, Monday and Matt. I want to have a baby, and I want you to be the father. And I'm going like, what? Monday, Matt, I want you to blow your boulders right up my coach. Monday, Matt, I want you to mine my quarry. I want you to dig right in there in the dirt, Matt. And I want you to find some deep deposits within me. I need your baby, Monday, Matt. I've watched your YouTube videos, Odin, and it gets me fucking horny. Put your baby in me, Matt. Oh, you know, I mean, you could suck my dick. No, okay, I can't say that. But no, I was like shocked. I was very shocked. I had no idea about any of this. I'm like, yeah, I, I don't want to be a dad. I mean, here it is 16 years later. I'm still saying the same thing to my current girlfriend. You know, I didn't want to be a dad. And I told her, I'm like, look, I don't want to be a dad. You don't want to, you don't want a kid. You're, you're, you're 13. You know, you're almost 14. You don't want to have a kid you maybe want an infant to carry around and play with but you don't want like a two-year-old you don't want a toddler you don't want a little kid you don't want a teenager you don't want an adult you just want a baby right because she's at that age i'm like just go work more in the nursery you're cool because you're at that age i don't <laughs> i don't know if that's the age matt i don't know if uh uh these young girls that are uh just starting their period as you seem to have that information readily available I don't know if they're suddenly, instantly, desperately wanting a YouTuber's baby inside of them. I also, <laughs> I like, I like how he puts his fucking username in there, into the story, like it was casually dropped. Like, she's like, God, I'm so fucking horny for you, mundane Matt of the mundane Matt show. Put your babies inside me. That's a conversation I'm sure everybody has. And she took, like, serious offense to this. Now, here's how all of this plays out to the church. Because her family used to be Jehovah's Witnesses. And the pastor of the church personally, personally recruited them or converted them or indoctrinated them into 
the Calvary Chapel faith. He found them, met with them, conversed with them, and brought them into the fold. They were like his pet project. And as a result of that, he they had the ear of him because he was very intent on making them. Can somebody that can draw, for the love of God, can you make a picture of this for me? I would be in your debt forever if you could. I want you to draw some dude that looks like Moses, just standing with his arms outstretched, and he's got a staff in one fucking hand. And on the ground is like, some little girl and she's like she's praying you've got the sunlight coming down on her it's all very angelic and there stands Monday Matt in the foreground hands on his hip with a shirt that just says soy boy and a big bag of boulders next to him and the guy that looks like Moses the Jehovah's Witness super priest or whatever the fuck he's trying to say it is is like put a baby in her Matt give us give us our give us our new messiah our mundane messiah accepted in the church and they were a weird fucking family but then again you have to be a weird fucking family in order to be part of the jehovah's witness faith i mean come on you don't celebrate birthdays christmas holidays anything it's just like a really kind of droll existence you know it's like being on twitter without ever swearing that's fuck that shit but anyway point remains sonia took offense and this is when i first learned that women can be evil because she started twisting so many things against me. I was going... Oh, here we go. Here we go. I like how he tries that men going their own way tactic. Like, that's that's how he's trying. He's trying to appeal to that group. Like, dude, girls are icky, right, my guys? Let me tell you the twisted shit this bitch said. So let's hear the real story, Matt. Going in there, you know, helping out, volunteering, really into the church. And all of a sudden, I'm hearing rumors from people saying that I attacked her, not like, you know, like, like physically beat her up or nothing, but like, there was a, a sh little strip mall next to the church, and a lot of us would go out there and hang out and smoke cigarettes afterward, and she would be over there, and she told me one time, she told, sorry, she told someone that I had gone back there with her after Sunday school, and I'd put a knife to her throat, and I told <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, okay, 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 okay. Okay, we're go we're backing the fuck up on this one. Let's just this back a let's back a little bit up. We can call this church. We can call this fucking chapel. We can find this girl and hear this story. Okay, let's just I need to make sure I heard that right. That I attacked her. Not like, you know, like like physically beat her up or nothing, but like there was a, a sh little strip mall next to the church and a lot of us would go out there and hang out and smoke cigarettes afterward. And she would be over there, and she told me one time, she told, sorry, she told someone that I had gone back there with her after Sunday school, and I'd put a knife to her throat, and I told her that if she didn't kiss me, I was going to slice her throat. And that never happened. That I never did that, right? But that did happen to her. She told me that story like a while back. She told me that there was a guy that she had known from her neighborhood who wanted her to... Has Nick the Knife been dethroned? Has the Quarry King taken Nick Fuentes' title away from him? I mean, Nick likes to show the blade off when he's getting into a heated debate. But I don't know if he's going around Sunday schools, pulling out teenage girls, <laughs> and holding them against the wall and saying, Bitch, if you don't give me a kiss right now, I'm going to fucking end you. <laughs> what the fuck is this story? You know, make out with him, and so he put a knife to her throat and, like, forced her to do it. So she used that story against me. And that, like, started getting really kind of weird. And then she was telling people that I was going around um, and harassing her brothers, her younger brothers, by, like, throwing chairs at them and, like, hitting them with things and trying to beat them up and trying to hurt them. And, of course, she said this when, like, no one else was around, so I had no way of backing it up. And her little brothers, because they wanted to help her sister, were claiming that I did that stuff as well. So it's not just the girl that said that Monday Matt held a knife, held her at knife point and demanded smooches. Her fucking little brothers are saying, yeah, that crazy son of a bitch, Monday Matt from the Monday Matt show on YouTube, uh, tried to, tried to, <laughs> tried to, I guess, gang rape our sister behind a fucking church. And then when we told him that's a bad idea, he started throwing chairs at our fucking head like it was a wrestling show. I wonder how many rocks he hucked at them. And then the kicker was like her dad went to the pastor and was like, well, now Monday Matt is calling my house at two o'clock in the morning and cussing me out. Okay, that did happen. I 
Okay, you, you know, what the fuck? All right, so I didn't I didn't attack her with a knife, and I didn't assault her little brothers, but I was calling her house at two in the morning. <laughs> that did happen. Sounding a little stalkerish, Matt. Let's let's uh, you know maybe I'm jumping ahead a little bit too much, and we'll we'll get to the I see some super chats piling up. We'll we'll read them at the end of this. We've got a few more minutes to go, but let's let's hear where this goes. I did not do it, and the story with that was. Uh, my friend and I were hanging out with some other friends. It was like 2 o'clock in the morning. We were drinking, and we were like, I wonder what son is up to right now. <laughs> he should call her maybe, you know, like, what's up? So my buddy picks up the phone, and he dials, dials our house. It's like, you know, 2 o'clock in the morning, and the dad answers, and he's just like, yeah, hello. And he's like, uh, Sonia there? And uh, the dad's like, she's asleep. I don't know, hangs up the phone and shit, right, whatever. So then the other friend we were there picks up the phone, hits redial. Dad answers it and he just goes, Fuck you, you motherfucker, piece of shit asshole. Click, hangs up the phone. That's it. Stupid 15 year old shit. No big deal. No big deal. Hey, dude, I know your daughter's telling you these crazy stories that I'm holding her at knife point, and your little sons are telling you that I've attacked them with chairs. But just relax. I mean, sure, I'm calling your house at two in the morning drunk and screaming, Fuck you at you. Or I'm sorry, uh, friends are doing that, uh, quote unquote. At two in the morning, and uh, you know, just just average everyday teenage stuff. I mean, I think we've all been there, right? We've all been teenagers, right, guys? You know, holding chicks at knife point, beating up their little brothers, calling their fucking house at two in the morning, drunkenly upset and screaming "fuck you" at them. Just average everyday things. Is this? Have we stumbled into a mundane version of Me Too? Is that what we are? Is this hashtag mundane Me Too? No big fucking deal. But she, I was there. I didn't participate. But I was blamed for all of that. So here it is. I, they're saying like... Wait a minute. Wait, no, back that up, Matt. I, I'm sorry to keep interrupting, right? I, I want to hear this glorious story to its, uh, to its conclusion. But what do you mean you got blamed for it, but you didn't have any hand in that? You just started the story by saying you called. Your friend did it the second time. You said your friend redialed, but you said you called. But now, five seconds later in your own fucking story, you didn't have a hand in it. You're completely innocent. You're a good boy. Didn't do nothing. Just need money for them church programs. Or for a new knife to hold up the parishioner's daughters. Like, almost sexual assault. Uh, threats of physical violence. Attacks on people. Nothing of which had any witnesses outside of her, but because they were so close to the pastor. And the pastor knew me. Like I said, I've gone to that church for two years. I was there all the time. I was really digging it. And I didn't, you know, basically at that point, he was like, we need you to not come back. Because uh, <clears throat> Okay. He was thrown out of a church. He, he was thrown out of a church, not because he refused to have sex with a 13 year old. He was thrown out of a church by the fucking pastor, by the pastor of the church. And he'd been a member there for two years because the pastor of the church started hearing stories about him holding up little girls at knife point, attacking fucking little boys, and drunkenly calling people's houses at two in the morning. I, the pastor of the church threw your ass out of that church, Matt, because he was afraid you were going to Allah Akbar in the middle of a Sunday sermon. That's why you got thrown out of the fucking church, champ. Because you were a disruption, you were a distraction, and you were causing too many problems. And I just, like, looked at him, like, what? Are you fucking kidding me? Are you at, I mean, like, really? And at that point in time, like, I was 15, you know, and I was just trying to figure it all out and shit. And I'm not a bad person. I may talk like a lot of crap, but I'm not a bad person. I would never do anything like that to anyone, ever. Yeah, he was just totally in a bad headspace, okay? A lot of stress going on, uh, even though this was 16 years ago, according to him. Uh, there was this guy called Dementoed Pesos. And uh, he had a, a local cable show, and all it did was pick on Matt, and Matt just couldn't handle it. And he couldn't flag it because it was just the local cable channel. So, he, you know, they gave him bad headspace, really fucked him up, so he started holding people up at knife point. You know how it is. And yet, here I am being accused, and I have absolutely no way of backing my claim, no way of proving my innocence. And the entire congregation was looking at me like I'm some sexual deviant or degenerate. And that's just not who I am. This motherfucker is telling a story where the entire congregation of a church and the fucking pastor ask him to leave. 
That is pretty phenomenal, Matt. That's pretty fucking extraordinary to have an entire church know about what you've done to the point that they're asking you to fuck off. That the entire Calvary Chapel and the fucking pastor have asked you to leave. So I said, okay, this is how you want to play. If this is what God wants for me, then I'm done. I'm gone. And I left, and 16 years later, I've never gone back to church. Anyone who tries to talk to me into going to one of their congregations, I basically tell them to go suck a gigantic, fat, hanging, AIDS-infested cock, swallow the load, and smile. Um, it deeply offended me as a person because... This is when you find out. This is why I've been so... One of the reasons why I will support the underdog more often than not. If, if, if something is there, I will back them because you know there's always another side of the story because people like to make shit up and they like to believe what they want to believe and they like to push whatever efforts they can to back their own claims of being righteous. And in the sense of this case, Sonia was mad at me because I didn't want to fucking fill her belly with my seed and... Uh, you know, I'm going to back that up. I, I just want to hear him actually say that with a straight face one more time. And to back their own claims of being righteous. And in the sense of this case, Sonia was mad at me because I didn't want to fucking fill her belly with my seed. And she basically got me kicked out of a community that I had spent two years heavily involved with that were friends and people that were very close to me and people that I have not spoken to since because I was basically ostracized for taking the high road and not being a sexual degenerate. Never mind the fact that I didn't want kids. Yeah, Matt was taking the high road, guys. He's not a sexual degenerate. I don't know where you're getting this idea that Monday Matt is a sexual degenerate. Okay, he's taking the high road. Why would you think Monday Matt is a fucking deviant? What would possibly convince you that Monday Matt is a sexual degenerate? He's taking the high road. I don't know what the fuck you guys are talking about. Perfectly well-adjusted person. Fucking hell. So now you know. And according to G.I. Joe, knowing is half the battle. So yeah. Welcome to my life. It's been fun. Holy fucking shit. Uh, you know, I'll be honest with you. Um, I heard the, the video existed. And people were telling me, like, oh, hey, you know. It's um, a weird story. It's a bullshit story, but I wouldn't fuck a 13-year-old. A little bit more to that. Tiny bit more to that than uh, what I'd been told. Uh, I'll be honest. Uh, so to recap, uh, you know, the bits of the story we heard, Monday Matt was thrown out of a church as a teenager by the entire congregation and the pastoral staff because a girl accused him of basically trying to rape her at knife point behind an abandoned building. And then uh, when she got away... He assaulted her brothers with chairs. This is her claim. And um, finally, I guess in a fit of drunken rage, started calling her house at like two and three in the morning repeatedly. But, you know, there's a little, there's a, li <laughs> there's a little argument even between himself about that. Uh, and so, you know, he fights for the underdog, guys. Okay, this is a freedom fighter. The Boulder King, or, I'm sorry, uh, Boulder Boy, the Quarry King. Is a fucking freedom fighter. Now, I, I see we have a lot of backed up super chats. I'm going to read through some of these. And while I'm doing that, for the love of God, if you have more videos like this, or if you have some more uh, hot takes on his Twitter account that are archived, I, I can still see my my suspended account. So just tweet them at uh, we was Medicare, and I will we'll show them on the stream before we move on to the next subject. But, uh, whew. Wow. <laughs> oh, Matt, what are you doing? Okay. All right, let me just let me just check something, pull up these super chats, and we'll, we'll start talking. We'll see what the chat has to say. All right, we left off with Amazing 1985. I hope uh, you got your wish. It was five bucks well spent. You wanted to talk about Matt. We're fucking talking about Matt. VGE DRR. CRP is no longer impressed. A big guy. Well, I will I will try to live with the shame of that. Jack Orlov, always say my name slowly, you little YouTube shill. Jack Orlov. HTRTU, apparently baked Alaska rose from his grave. Really? 
Did he get bored being a dog walker in California and is going to try again? I wonder what his new gimmick is. We'll have to take a look later. Definitely Lex, where's the video gem? The video went up three days ago. Bullet 25 gem, I know you probably weren't going to talk about this, but Australia is playing, uh, playing to add a front door to all hardware and software so they can spy on everybody. And there's a Google link. I cannot confirm whether this is a safe Google link. Uh, so I will, I will, I, I guess, look the information up and we'll take a look on stream. Trolita, Hitler did nothing wrong. Super Hans, uh, do you have Jade, uh, do you do Jade in her Asian pooper? Uh, well, you know, she is the one that drew the brat picture. I can neither confirm nor deny. Chrome, uh, Crone Dome, now selling acorns and boulders, just DM me. A quartering the market, are you? James Beckett, your work inspired me to write a whole master's degree dissertation on the alt-right. I'm sorry, the alt-light. Thanks for inspiring me to waste six months of my life. Well, dissertations are always fun. And that's master degree? Wait till you get to the PhD level. You're going to want to fucking shoot yourself. Space Shank, Maddox is a cuck. Iron Wolf Spear, so I'm a little bit late, but what's the occasion? Or, I'm a little bit late. What the occasion I came back from a short, or short vacation where I fuck a sexy Canuck? Crazy story, would love to tell you, take my money. Sweet forward, how filled are Matt's pants right now that he's under the 150k mark? I'm playing a little bit of catch up here. I'm sure once we get to the Super Chats regarding this uh, magnificent video, we're going to have some interesting conversations. John Smith dropped like a boulder. Party Alm CB. Alex Jones died for our sins, may be forgiven, and Terry A. Davis died so that we may live. Who will be next and complete the Holy Trinity? Hopefully nobody. Um, but I have seen that, uh, I think Gab AI, I think they tweeted today or yesterday, uh, that their their app was pulled off the Google store. I know Alex has been basically quarantined on the internet. I, I think everybody's aware of that at this point. Uh, he's been removed from all social media platforms. He's been removed from video sharing services. He's having his domain threatened. And they pulled his app from the uh, Apple store. And Gab is in a similar situation. Microsoft Azure, or whatever the fuck it's called, uh, threatened them. Said if you don't start removing certain uh, posts, we're going to shut down your entire website. And now on the heels of that, Google is uh, not threatening. They've taken away their app. Uh, Again, this goes back to Andrew Anglin. I I knew when that happened to him uh, that this shit was in the works for other people. And it will slowly start to eke its way left. They're going to start with people they claim are the most extreme of the extreme on the right. Uh, websites and uh, personalities, and they're going to slowly eke their way to the left. They're going to, you know, go from, uh, you know, white nationalists and uh, ethno nationalists and just uh, civic nationalists, uh, the alt right, the alt light, uh, your basic conservatives, and just work their way too. Don't worry, centrists, your day is coming. We're all going to be fucked. Joshua Allen, Burt Reynolds is now Burnt Reynolds. Mario Carter 13, in the ninth circle of hell, Matt sees a creature, he runs, but trips on a boulder. It speaks, hey there, kids. It's me, Pulley the Polar Bear. Pablo Mendoza, K17DBV. How much longer are we talking about this? We're going to be talking about Matt for a while, Pablo. Random asshole, Sweden just had its election, and it was rigged as can be. Your thoughts, Jim? Is there any hope for our horrible fucking country? No, you're fucked. Move to Norway or Finland. Best of luck. Charles the Hammer, thank you very much. Subhuman Matt used all his accounts to downvote this stream. Space Shank, Jews did 9-11 for $9.11. Mikhail Manbridge, into four Matt strikes the stream. Helicopters are us. Please take this, uh, please take on the fake Merc, Jason Blaha. I've heard that name keeps getting brought up. I will, I will look into it. H-T-R-T-U. Now, wait a minute, Matt. Matt, no. Charles the Hammer, uh, thank you. From VGETRR, it's a website, and from what I understand, a real website, set up by Dami Pesos, which is MundaneMattIsAFatFaggot.com. For all your Mundane Matt news, apparently there is now a website catering to it. Uh, and as VGETRR points out in the Super Chat, it's MundaneMattIsAFatFaggot.com. Sweet forward, wait a minute, Matt, Matt, no. Griff Gambino, Terry A. Davis didn't die in vain, he died by a train. Greg Schwartz, how did Matt avoid becoming a school shooter? <laughs> well, uh, we don't know. I can't confirm or deny uh, what Matt's activities might have been when he was a teenager, as we've fucking seen from a video. Kate Areno, play the song There is There is No Chicken Like Horse Chicken? It suits the story. I, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Uh, Mikhail Mansbridge, in before Matt's going to strike the stream. Uh, Amazing1985, press 1 to buy Matt's sister's underwear. 
David R., Jordan Peterson, the shit out of this room this afternoon, but it still smells like self-hatred. What am I doing wrong? Oh, God, is it me? Can't pronounce this one. Something. Organized chaos. Soylent cum. Daniel Smith. Matt goes to adult bookstores just to lick the floor of the private viewing rooms. Just a flavor. Mmm, yum. Main machine. Horses are sexy, Jim. Just admit it and save yourself the trouble. Gabriel D., thank you. HCRTU. Legal age of consent in Russia is actually 16. So apparently Matt is completely wrong. Where was that fucking thing? Let me let me find it. It was a collage picture. What was he saying the age of consent was? Argentina 16. Okay, I think the legal age of consent in Russia is 14, so just go there. Apparently a Russian is saying Matt is a fucking idiot, and that is not the case. Smugleaf the Sniffy. Hey, uh, Matt, hope you had a license for this shit and show and the acorns. Also, Matt would get on with Ross and Mr. Yee. Extort 1220, Matt, or no, Matt, no. Kodiak, pent <laughs> pedantic fat. Technician, uh, tech nine nition, 123. Matt just wants to fit in with the Hollywood pedos. Goaty McPimp, the best part of this is Matt is too cowardly to talk to you and give you an explanation for the tweets. Uh, we will read some more super chats in a bit. I, I don't know what to tell you, chat. I, I, you know, let me, let me pull the regular chat here. Let's see what, uh, what you guys are thinking. Chat, can you can you give me some insight into what the fuck is going on with Mundane Matt? I mean, the tweets by themselves, you could you could hand wave them away and say they're a joke and he's fucking around. But then you watch that video, and you learn some key details, a little some key details about Mundane Matt's past, about being thrown out by an entire fucking congregation for allegedly threatening children uh, with a knife and attempting to sexually assault them. That's a bit of a heavy fucking story. And he's got like a thousand, he's got so many videos up. How many, you know, let's go take a look. Let's go take a look at how many fucking videos Monday and Matt has up. Because I think maybe it's time a little bit of effort was put into seeing exactly what the fuck Monday and Matt talks about. Okay. I, I should be able to see this on his social blade. It should just have the number listed. Monday and Matt has 4,687 uploads. That was just one of them. The polar, the polar bears were four of them. So, how many more are out there? Right? He's he's mundane, so he can just... Nobody's ever going to dig through it. That's, I guess, the thought. But if you were to sort his videos from the oldest to the newest, and just start watching them, how much more crazy shit does this guy have out there? Really, uh, really makes you think, doesn't it? Uh, you know what, let me, let me throw this out. Chat, uh, would you let Monday and Matt babysit your children? Press 1 for yes, press 2 for no, press 3 for I'm calling the police. So, would you let Matt babysit your children? 1 for yes, 2 for no, 3 for I'm calling the fucking police. Let's, let's see what chat's fucking opinion on this is. I'm seeing a lot of fucking threes. I'm seeing, uh, you're all biased, okay? Clearly you don't get his amazing sense of fucking humor. I, you know, there's a phrase out there, I'm a virgin with rage. All right, Ross said that. Ross, actually, and Ross was the uh, bathtub pedo, by the way. Uh, he described himself as a virgin with rage, and it was funny because it's such an absurd fucking thing to say, right? But it's almost like, it's like that applies to Matt, doesn't it? Or it did for a long time. Like, he was just, he was a virgin with rage issues. He was like, <laughs> he, he, the guy earlier was like, the super chat was like, oh, yeah, he's, <laughs> he's not a school shooter at least. Ooh, did we luck out? Did his current girlfriend or wife or whatever save our lives? Oh, that pity pussy she gave him may have prevented a massacre. Somebody send that lady some flowers. She deserves it. Jesus. Now, let me read a few more super chats here. We, we've got other stuff to talk about. A little more Monday Matt stuff. Uh, some other stuff as well. Uh, I will try not to miss anybody's here, but the system they use for this is so fucking stupidly convoluted. Okay. All right. Let's let's power through these so we can get back to the fun stuff. 
Uh, Zemeckis Lebowski, Gay Boy Jim, avoid soy to achieve joy. Bombastic Blake Diamond, another day, another woke goy revealed to be a creep. Uh, the Betchloff, more like the skeptic or septic community. Am I right? Well, you know, we probably should talk about the skeptic community as a whole. Uh, the shit they did with Candid. Uh, their behavior as it relates to individuals. They're all such great individualists. They're a, col uh, they're a non-collective collective of individualist individuals. But we will talk about that a little later in the stream. John Smith, Matt, the Quarry King Mundane, starring in Back to the bar Barnyard. Starring little Argentina Sally. Wait a minute, Matt. No, Ethan Ralph. Uh, Hordurp Crawford, Jim Sweetie, you do God's work. You will be the high inquisitor in the ethno state. Your cutie pie Asian waifu will be allowed to stay as your sex slave. Heil, thank you very much. HDRTU, can we maybe call them the septic community? Uh, they are, after all, full of shit. Corn Horn 280, press G to gas. You know, I'm going to give chat a second to see if they want to play along with that. Corn wants you to press G to gas. I'm guessing he's saying he, wa he wants you to gas Monday, Matt. So if you agree with that statement from our super chatter, press G. Oh, I need to find a way to cut the delay out on the stream. It, it's still there. I don't know how to do it. Oh, yeah, I'm seeing a lot of Gs come up, Corn. Yeah, I think the chat is in full agreement with you on this. Belial Moloch, he's just... Uh, playing Alex Jones ask a 40 Scrabble King Tut why does it seem like there are so many pedo degenerates now could not tell you but I think social media plays a part uh, LC Jr or LC Jr feels nice knowing my birthday is 9-11 while being Arab a la Akbar gem and together let us all cast the kikes El Changeo don't forget Bunty King self-proclaimed self cuck we will be taking a look at that in a little bit Patrick Abramson at least his girlfriend's daughter will never have to watch My Little Pony alone Nikita Shaw Khan, or Nikita uh, Skakun. Jim, please give me the gift. Uh, well, I would give you the gift, but I'm currently being held up by knife point behind a church by a very angry virgin with rage hauling boulders. A tiefling. Who's more embarrassing, Matt or Bobo from ONA? Oh, I'm going to say Matt is. Charles the Hammer. Matt jizzes boulders. Floor Tuology. Monday Matt is trying to one up Darkseid Phil for Garner based infinite ra train wreck. Or gamer-based infinite train wreck. Well, Matt is currently, currently just I don't know what the fuck Matt's doing. When people found the tweets right on his account, he basically locked down his Twitter and has begun deleting tweets. So there's a limited window for people out there that are interested. There's a fucking limited window to find those YouTube videos that have the most potential because I guarantee you, Matt is going to probably freak the fuck out. Uh, more people are paying attention, and going, he's going to start deleting shit that he thinks is uh, problematic to his image. Coop, think Matt will try to flag down the stream? Uh, probably, I, I couldn't tell you. Tech 9 Nition 123, watch the Serena Williams chimp out with us. <laughs> I didn't know that was happening. I will uh, take a look later. Red Zeno, Geralt will be in a wheelchair. I think we all know that's where that's going. Uh, Netflix fucking ruins everything it touches. I still haven't forgiven them for canceling Marco Polo. Fuck Netflix. Ocean Redux, it's Rip. Commit se er, seppuku, Matt. Jesus, Jim. Your Daily Water. Jim, please say, call me daddy, your Daily Water. Coltergeist, tune in to the Netflix Witcher, where Geralt the White Wolf has a run-in with another Witcher, the Black Bull. <laughs> Dame Pesos, she's 13, Matt. No. No, aggro me. Do you believe Kraut's story now that he is back? Uh, no, I do not. I know Kraut has been making the rounds doing his little PR push uh, with his uh, his gaggle of friends like uh, David Shitrat and others uh, trying to downplay everything. If you go back and watch my videos, I laid it out pretty pretty fairly with the information that was presented. Uh, yeah, people seem to be skipping over a lot of stuff. My main focus was the gayness of the 24-hour ops. But uh, if you want to look back over what was going on, Kraut in video form, uh, tweet, uh, tweets and in private messages said that, uh, you know, I'm becoming a monster, I dox this guy, I have his information. Now he's coming back and saying, well, I didn't mean it. Well, of course you don't mean it now, now that you've gotten a bunch of shit. Who gets caught doing something and then just is like, yeah, fuck it, I did it. Most people are like, no, you misunderstand. It's all fucking narrative spinning. And then David Shitrat acting like their shit doesn't stink. Uh, interesting that David Sherrod 
is conveniently forgetting the conversation he was recorded in, where Kraut was trying to pass along information of people in the right, the alt-right, to SJW so they could go after them. And he tried to use Sherat as a, a middleman, as an intermediary. He wanted to take their information, have David pass it off to hardcore SJWs, or Antifa or whoever, I don't fucking know, and have them go after these people. But even Shitrat was like, I can't do that, that's too much. And uh, I've got some interesting backstory. I've got some kraut lore people haven't been paying attention to. I've got a bit of a surprise coming up. Bit of a surprise related to Kraut and David Shitrat coming up soon. Let's get through these super chats first, though. I think you're all going to be, you're going to find it fucking interesting. Let's just put it that way. Uh, Tiefling, it's one thing to look at girls sucking horse wieners. It's another to shout at the internet for attention about it. Uh, very true. Prophet Muhammad, can we get some more Hugbox Chronicles or Deviants? Uh, yeah, there is actually a Hugbox Chronicles that will be coming out within the next month. Cameron Bottoms, hey Jim, do you think mundane Matt is Ross's dad? I think he is. To be fair, we all saw Mr. Hands get killed by horse stick, Joseph Diaz. Oh, that is true. But uh, Matt did not mention a man getting fucked to death in his ass by a horse. He mentioned horse semen and women taking it. Zorro, are you planning to do a video on Esoteric Entity? Uh, not currently at the moment, no. Finger Chickens, you have a very nice voice. Uh, thank you. Spatial Seer, thoughts on Matt before this mess? Uh, my thoughts on Matt were pretty consistent throughout Matt's entire existence. I mean, he brands himself as mundane, and he comes across as mundane. He just kind of has a, a thing that he covers, he has a style that he has, and he just sticks to it. That was my thought on Matt before this hot mess. Sword and Scale, how much will Nick Minaj donate to Monday Matt once he's bagging groceries next week? Over or under? I don't know, chat, do you want to throw a bet out on there? Uh, Nicki Minaj, uh, donate, how much will they be donating to Monday Matt once he's bagging groceries next week? I don't know if he'll be allowed to work in a store where children might be present, Sword. I don't know what to tell you. Gabriel D, Jim, check Facebook chat, please. I will do that later. Ghost Gang next. So would Matt stand by a giant rock or horse-masked gimp? Uh, that's a good question. Commissar Warder, the centrists were a mistake. James Bruceide, Jim, love your stuff, don't, uh, but don't quite get your deal. Are you a high-level troll, an activist, and what exactly? Dace Fult and Godspeed. Well, I'll answer your question, James. Uh, you see, recently, there was a political party called The Liberalist. Uh, it was run by a pretty big deal YouTuber. All right, I don't want to name drop anybody, but, uh, you know, the liberalists, I guess, were doing so well after their five months of existence that that uh, YouTuber left them to go join UKIP. So I think I'm going to be a high-level activist now, James uh, Bursai. I think I'm going to become the leader of the liberalists, and we're going to freedom fight and save the fucking West on the internet, because apparently there's an open leadership position now that everybody's left to go join UKIP. Stabby McStabwood, Jim... I would love to debate you. Unfortunately, we agree on too much. Thank you for the endless hours of entertainment. This is for my Sweetie Squad application. Crone Dome, have you noticed your commentary community is respawning? A couple are swinging, or already swinging, at ER. Uh, well, that's funny. ER will tear them limb from fucking limb. I like his videos. Uh, they're out of their fucking mind if they're going to go after him. Pan of Pans, Jim, did you hear about Crunchyroll's new women-fronted show and their spur got around it? Yes, I have. Bow Wow, have you seen iDub's video about the James Gunn thing? He pretty much calls anyone who thinks the tweets are proof of pedophilia an idiot. Uh, no, I don't think I've had a chance to see it. I, I don't really watch iDubs, but uh, I will check it out later, I guess. Prophet Muhammad, ook, 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 I'm a chimp, ook, ook, Jim good, or Jimmy Good Gorilla, Space Shank. Uh, those Calvary Chapel people are weird. Noir719, uh, thank you. Sh uh, no message, though. I'm not sure if you meant to do that. Schrodinger the Weeb, drinking horse semen is a very important part of Loki and the liberalist agenda. Todd uh, Joachim, I don't know, Boulder Boy was on 7th Heaven. Yeah, he played the father apparently, am I right? Mad Max, hey Jim, first time sending a super chat, it's my birthday today, and you just gave me the best gift, thanks man. Ralph, <laughs> Ralph Retort, I knew this would be the video, lol. Matt, no. Ralph, what the fuck is going on with this? It's, it's too much... It, it, there's too much out there, right? Like, people are stumbling on them. People need to be methodical. Uh, if somebody were to take the time to be that autistic, to go through 4,000 Monday Matt videos, imagine the stories that he has that people just didn't watch because he's boring. 
the nuggets of just pure entertainment that are buried in there. Daily Freaks, my friend and I are com uh, competed over a 13-year-old. Oof, Jesus. Larry Bernard from the Book of Things that Totally Happened, written by Monday Matt. Herbert Crawford, I don't have much money, Jim, but this is for your health. I'd rather send money to a white man than a fucking Somalian nog that caused him harm. Love your videos. Be well, 1488. Thank you very much. Digger John, my 49-year-old non-virginal ears. Christopher Paulson, put your pebbles in my boulder hole, Matt. Okay, now I don't want to take, I, 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 and I will get through all the super chats, I appreciate them, uh, but I want to make sure that we, that we, that we cover some stuff. You know, we're on the, the subject of skeptics. People brought up Kraut, we've been talking about Matt. Um, it's very interesting. Jeff Holiday uh, recently came out in defense of Matt. Uh, Kraut came out in defense of Matt. Other people have come out in defense of Matt. It seems like that community is very solid. They like to stick together. Uh, it's it's weird when looking at the skeptic community. You know, the only outlier that I've ever really seen, and I think this is because I'm going to call them the alpha skeptic, is uh, Shoe on Head. And I think Shoe on Head and uh, Armored Skeptic are on the outside of a lot of this shit, aside from the candid stuff in the beginning, but are on the outside of a lot of this shit because they don't have to be involved. Uh, I think Shu has like a million plus fucking subscribers. Shu is the alpha skeptic. Sargon needs to bend the fucking knee to Shu. But these other skeptics, there's a whole group of people. The Bunty Kings and the Jeff Holidays and the just the whole lot of them. It's very tightly knit and defensive when one of them gets made fun of. And I'm not, I'm not sure what the story with that is. Now, uh, people brought up uh, Bunty King being a cuck. And I would, you know, it would be a shame if I didn't share that with chat because maybe there's not a lot of, uh, uh, you know, bleed over. Uh, I would recommend chat, by the way, if you're listening. I, again, Dami Pesos, great shit if you want Monday Matt related stuff. Also, the Ralph Retort. He does a kill stream weekly, weeknights, and uh, covers a lot of this. And on his kill stream, they watched the Bunty King video, uh, which I will pull up and we'll take a look at because people, it's literally called, by the way, I am a cuck. Let's talk. Let's let's just take a look at some of these fucking skeptics, shall we? The absolute state of them. Let me get that set up. Uh, we will go back to Super Chats in a little bit here, uh, and I, I promise you I will get caught up. Uh, let me pull this up. Let me make sure everything's queued up properly. I hope you're ready for this. So let's just go over the list, shall we, of our, of our known skeptics. Um, Kraut and T. Involved in a gay ops server to get revenge against people that he felt, uh, I, I don't even know what the fuck the motivation was, but just gay ops. That's the headline, gay ops. Monday, Matt flags people down because his feelings get hurt, and apparently was accused of trying to rape a girl at church. Uh, you know, okay, okay, Quarry King. And, uh, okay, well, we got Bunty King. What is what is Bunty King's thing? Uh, well, it's a video called, I am a cuck. Let's talk. Alrighty. All right, let's, let's pull that up. Window capture, are you going to work for me? Yep. All right, let's, uh, let's take a look at the video. I, I probably won't play the whole thing. It is fairly long, but let's just listen to his story. I think you'll enjoy this. Hello, my sweet goats, and welcome to another Let's Talk. Listen, I would like, to, I would like you to just ignore the mess of the, in the background. It's very representative of, of my life in the moment. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's what's going on. Uh, and you guys will find out. But before I get into this uh, this this video, I would like to mention two things. The first thing, in telling you this story, I am not looking for pity points. I'm not looking to uh, um, you know to, for you to fucking feel bad for me. I uh, I don't need that. I don't I don't need that. I'm I'm strong. I'm dealing with this. However, I'm going to deal with it. And, and and one of the ways of dealing with it is kind of sharing the story with you, and so that if you are in a situation that is similar to mine, that you could gain. Apparently, by the way, that situation, as the title implies, is being a cuck. So if you're in a situation, listen up, chat. If you're a cuck in a situation of being a cuck, uh, Bunty has got some sweet, or he's got some advice for you, sweet goats. Some insight from it, and that you can understand that, understand what to do. Because a part of me feels very responsible for you guys, because I do have a certain level of influence, and I would like to use that in a positive manner. Um... So there we go. That's 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 one thing. The second thing is that this is about Max's girlfriend, and it's not a way to get back at her. And I am not going to be using her name. And if you do know her name, please do not write her name in the comments. I would really appreciate that if you are one of my friends. Yeah, chat. Don't uh, don't write her name in the disabled comments. He'd really hate that. 
friends in real life and you're watching this, which I doubt is the case because my friends in real life do not watch me online, um, do not uh, think of her as a bad person because she isn't. She isn't. She's one of the most beautiful people I've ever met. And even now, I'm very much in love with her. And if she called me right after I uploaded this video... Yeah, I see you, Chad. People are saying it's low. Uh, I was low on Ralph's stream. I've turned it up as much as I can now in OBS. The video is maxed out. Uh, hopefully it's better. Uh, and said, uh, please take me back. I would take her back in a second. And that's also another reason why I don't want to say her name because I don't want you guys uh, running her name through the mud after that if that were to happen, which I don't think is going to happen, honestly. Um, not, not for me, but because of her. I just don't think that she is... She loves me as much as she said she did. Um... So, uh, so essentially, this is what, what it comes down to, right? Um, in June, I got messaged by a girl, my, currently my ex-girlfriend, uh, who, and she said, I think you're really hot and funny. And it was really interesting because we were kind of having like a little bit of a back and forth on, uh, on social media, on Facebook and, uh, at the time. And, uh. Uh, and I was like, holy shit, I was amazed because for me, uh, I had had a crush on her for a long time and not like an active crush on, uh, on her where I would like reach out to her regularly. Like I was only talking to her again, like, and like, like I said, in June, like when that, when VidCon happened, I was talking to her and, um, it was very recent that I had started talking to her and for the most part for like the majority of the time, like I left her alone because she lived in a different city. She lived in Toronto. I live in Montreal and I was like, fuck it. You know, it's one of those long-distance emotional connections. So he meets a girl. Uh, there's a bit of a gap. They talk on social media. Meet up at VidCon. Let's uh, see how this romantic relationship blossomed into cuckdom. Um, uh, so when she messaged me, I was like, holy shit, I got, I got to capitalize on this because I fucking have a crush on this girl. That'd be amazing. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to be in Toronto soon, which I didn't need to be. But I was like, let's go for a walk. And... And, uh, and so then that be began a, uh, that was the beginning of a com beautiful relationship, something that was just very liberating, something that was very, uh, amazing and just wonderful. Um, and she unlocked something in me that I never, I didn't even know I had anymore. Uh, I thought it was buried. It was buried deep inside. She unlocked in me my lust to prep the bull. I, I knew it was there. It was, it was deep, deep down. But when I met this girl, I knew... My duty was to start prepping bowls. It's so, so deep because of all the anxiety I've been carrying with me my whole life. But she made me realize that I'm this better person and I'm someone that is able to command an audience, someone that is able to, uh, uh, to, to reach for, for more than whatever I thought was possible. And I'm th so thankful for that about her. Like, it's really, it's really one of the things that makes me, uh, that I think about often. And of course, you know, the romance was at an all time high. Yeah, just take that in, right? Okay, this guy made a video talking about how he got cucked, and he's thanking the girl in the first three minutes. I want to thank her for that. I want to thank the girl that turned me into a cuck, and just say, bravo, well done, nicely done. Thank you so much for the honor, milady. Uh, but she always had this thing that was holding her back. There was something uh, uh, like, and, and in this, and she would say it was her depression or anxiety. And I understood that because I have anxiety and I, I a form of anxiety and I know how to deal with it. Um, I'm, by not, I'm by no means the most anxious person, but I do have it. And sometimes it is a little bit overwhelming. But for the most part, because I'm a strong, uh, strong-willed individual, I, I get, I can get past it. So I was strong for both of us, and I was like, it's all good, it's not a big deal. Like, she would just have these moments where she would, like, get quiet, and that was okay. I didn't think much of it, because I don't think anything of it, because I think that when I, when when a girl is dating me, I don't think that there is any possibility of any other guy being involved, or anybody else being involved. I just do not think that's possible. I just don't see it as a possibility, because I provide so much more than the average boyfriend. I just do. It's just in my nature, it's just the way it is. I don't do it because I feel like that's what they want. I do it because that's just how I am. I'm a nice guy, milady. I I will be your best friend. We'll talk about emotions on the couch every night. I'll be there for you as a shoulder to cry. Do you see where this is going, chat? He doesn't believe a woman would cheat on him because he's such a nice guy. We all know where this is going. I mean, the title gives it away. But uh, let's hear the fun story. 
So December comes and she breaks up with me. And she uh, tells me it's because she's really depressed. She doesn't know what she's doing with her life. She's so fucked up. She's just like, I'm just so screwed up about my life. And that's it. And uh, um, I was like, well, that's fuck crazy. I didn't want to hold her back. But at the same time, I was like, what are you doing? Like, we're so good together. What are you doing? She's like, I'm just, she's like, I'm just, I'm not there right now. I'm just not here. I can't do it. I like need to fix myself. I can't bring you down. And so I left her alone for like a month and a half. We didn't talk really. And then we started talking again towards the end of January. And that's when she revealed something very huge to me. And that was the fact that she was in a relationship the whole time. She's been caught in a loveless relationship. She doesn't. And that's when she revealed to me that I am a cuck. That's when she revealed to me that she's been fucking the neighbors. And that's when she revealed to me that being there as emotional support doesn't override the need for a good dicking. And that's when she revealed to me that I wasn't the perfect boyfriend that I thought I was. Oh, 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 what are you, why would you make this video? Why would you make a 13 minute video on the internet telling people that your girlfriend fucked another dude? What are you, Maddox? Why are you doing this? I love the guy. She doesn't feel anything for him, supposedly. Um, she, she loves me more, supposedly. She thinks I'm the best, that he doesn't hold up a candle to me, supposedly. Uh, and I'm saying supposedly because even after she told me, this is the kind of guy I am. This is how much I loved her. I said, it's okay, baby. Don't worry. It's okay, baby. Don't worry. Sure, every time I kiss your lips, I can taste his cock. Sure, sure, you walk funny when you go or get back from a girl's night out, quote unquote. Sure, sure, you don't do those sexual things with me that you do with him. It's okay, baby. Don't worry. B Bunty King is here for you, and he, he loves you so very much. Hey, buddy, I understood why you didn't tell me. I understood why you didn't. You hid this from me. I'm sorry that you had to feel this way. I'm sorry that you were so anxious. I'll He's fucking apologizing to the girl that's fucking another guy. He's made a video talking about how some whore cheated on him. And instead of saying, boy, this chick's a bitch. Boy, she broke my trust. What an awful fucking person she is. He has told not only, <laughs> not only has he thanked her twice now, he was okay with it. It's all copacetic. Bunty King's cool with it, yo. He's down with the hip shit. You can fuck all the guys you want, baby. He's here for you. He'll hold your hand while you're getting railed. That's the kind of guy Bunty is. I'll go through this with you. I just want you. I want you at the end of this. I just want you. I want... I, I don't need you. I want you. I think that we can be valuable together. I think that we can achieve things together. I want to bring you to things like VidCon. I want you to introduce you to YouTubers. I want to introduce you. Who fucking says that? No wonder she's fucking other guys. Baby, listen. I know that Jamal has a 42-inch penis. And I, I know, I know that uh, he makes you come so hard that you have eye damage now from your eyes rolling in the back of your head. But here's what I'm going to do for you. Here's what Bunty's going to do for you that big dick Jamal can't. I'm going to take you to VidCon. I'm going to introduce you to a hip cat by the name of Mundane Matt. Now, don't worry. I'll protect you. All right, just a few a few warnings before we get there. If you see him holding a knife, run for your fucking life. And if you run into Andy Worski, make sure there's no white shit under his nose because crazy shit's about to happen. But I'm going to bring you to VidCon, baby. I'm going to introduce you to all the YouTubers with 80,000 subscribers. How's that sound? Is that better? Is that better than that 42-inch penis? No? No, it's not? Okay. To, to, to this new form of media that's coming up, I want to get you in. I want you at my side. I want you as my queen. That's what I want. I want to make you my queen? Who says this shit? Who says this shit? There's being romantic and poetic, and then there's just being awful. There's just being awful, Bunty. Why would you tell some whore that cheated on you that you want to make her your fucking queen? 
So I was like, so that's why I was, I said that to her right after she said it. It wasn't like, I didn't even need time to think about it. I said, no, it's okay. Don't worry about it. I love you. Let's do this. And she was like, I'm on board. And then a week passes by and suddenly she's not on board. Suddenly she's thinking, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know if I should commit to you. I can't commit to you. I can't fucking commit to you. What? Why can't you commit to me? And it's not like, okay, I get it because she feels like she's, She's really fucked up about the whole situation. She feels terrible about herself. She was terrible terrible about the fact that she lied to me. She lied to this person who she perceives as super pure. And I was like, listen, I don't give a... Uh, pro tip for all the listeners out there. She doesn't feel terrible at all. If you're in a relationship with a woman and she's fucking other guys, and then she tells you that she's fucking other guys, <laughs> and you don't smack her, or if she tells you that she's fucking other guys and you don't call her a whore and walk away, if she tells you she's fucking other guys and you say you want to make her your queen... And then she tells you, well, I feel bad about it. She doesn't feel bad about it. She is a whore. <laughs> She's a fucking filthy whore. Oh, fuck, I forgave you about that. Doesn't even matter. I wasn't even thinking about that. Why are you telling me that you can't commit to me? And then I started, then I really started to think about it. I'm like, why can't you commit to me? And the reality is that at the end of the day, at the end of the fucking day, while she was with me, she was with someone else. And while she was with this other person, she let that other person feel like everything was okay. I wonder if it, it, like the thought has ever come to Bunty King, like when he's sitting there thinking about this relationship, if the thought ever crossed his mind that her and this other guy, right, that maybe they thought it was funny, that maybe she told him, hey, there's this dude called Bunty King who's a YouTuber, and he thinks I love him. So let's see how, let's see how fucked up I can make him. Do you think they laughed about it when she told him the story about how you asked to make her a fucking queen? How she told you she was getting dicked by this other dude? Do you think the other dude laughed as you were groveling at her feet to keep her? Oh, I'm sure there were a lot of laughs between them. And once again, this isn't because she is a bad person. This is because she is a person who is deeply flawed and has issues. Bunty, she is a horrible person. This is a this is the definition of a bad person. She's a terrible person. Why are you apologizing and thanking her? That she needs to deal with. And if she is watching, it would be really appreciative if she actually dealt with them. And one of the things that she could do, and this is just a suggestion that I've suggested her before, is, is move past this other guy and replace him with me. And it's not like I'm saying, like, oh, I just want to replace Oh, my God. You know... If you've ever been on an image board, there there's like an image macro. There are a couple image macros uh, where they where they make fun of the nice guy, and um, he he is the nice guy. He is that image. She's fucking another dude, and he thinks if he's nice enough, she'll leave him and come be with her, and he wants to replace the other guy. Obviously, the other guy is better in bed, Bunty. She must. It must be like a fire hydrant exploded between her fucking legs when he whips his dick out. Because she's with him. She's not with you. I don't think being nice and emotional is what she's looking for. Something, uh, someone else, and maybe she'll do it to me down the line. I don't think that's going to happen. I think that she just needed someone like me in her life. I'm being an idiot. I'm being a total idiot. Uh, yep, yeah, it hit him right there. That's the moment where he thought about it. That's the moment where reality slipped in just for a second. And he's like, holy shit, what the fuck am I doing? Why am I eight minutes into a 13-minute video thanking the woman that fucked another guy? <laughs> anyway, the end of the day, what, what happened was that, uh, was that I, I was like, listen, if you're not going to commit to me, if you're going to say that you are having trouble committing to me in light of everything that I've offered, in light of the fact that I forgave you without holding against you, don't hold it against you, I just want you to love me, and you still have an issue with that, then that for me told me, that made me feel like the side guy. I felt like the side guy. I didn't feel like a guy that was worth fully committing to. Motherfucker, you're not even the diagonal guy. You're the guy in another city guy. You're the guy she talks to on Twitter guy. <laughs> you're the guy that she asked to buy her dinner because she's tired after fucking her boyfriend guy. You are not the side guy. You are the diagonal guy. Because the other guy apparently is worth fully committing to, to be involved with regularly, on the regular, day in and day out, get to see each other, on the weekend, go to grocery shopping, go to the fucking movies, go to family dinners. That guy is worth it. But not me. I'm just the guy 
that gives a good fuck and eats good pussy. That's pretty much what I am. Boy, has anybody ever lied that hard in their life? Let's 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 do a thought experiment. There are two gentlemen, and there is a young thought. Now, who is the young thought going to be with? Is she going to go with the guy that gives her the best sex? Probably. So, who is she with? Is she with Bunty or the other guy? Well, she's with the other guy. So, I guess Bunty isn't a great fuck, and he doesn't eat good pussy. Because if that were even remotely true, the other guy would be the diagonal guy, and Bunty would never have made this fucking video. That's what I feel like. And of course she tells me, no, it's not the case, it's not the case, it's not the case. Whatever. I just, th there's one thing. Wait a minute, did he slip up there? Okay, wait, wait, wait. He said, I am, uh, he said, I am a good fuck and I eat good pussy. And then he follows that up by her saying, no, that's not the case. Let me see if I misheard this. That gives a good fuck and eats good pussy. That's pretty much what I am. That's what I feel like. And of course she tells me, no, it's not the case, it's not the case, it's not the case. Somebody needs to clip that. I think she was honest with him for a minute. He tells her, but I'm a great fuck and I eat good pussy. And she responds saying, no, that is not the case. <laughs> not the case. Not the case. Whatever. I just, th there's one thing is the case. You're a deeply flawed person. So fix it. And it's kind of rude for you to get me involved and then for me to be on board and then you just push me aside like, no, I can't be committed to you. Hold on while I fucking call this other loser. Fuck that shit. I'm sorry I'm angry right now and it's all coming out because I'm talking about it and I really fucking, I'm, I'm being real with you guys and I do apologize. And once again, if you are watching, please, I'm not super angry with you. I'm just fucking pissed off at the situation. Guys, I gotta say something, alright? Now, one thing I'm gonna say is that when you're in a situation like the one I'm in, you have to know your self-worth, okay? And my self-worth is quite fucking high. That's why I made an eight or a 13-minute video on YouTube telling people the horrible story of how my girlfriend fucked another dude and told me I was a bad fuck. That's what you should do. Hey, hey, uh, chat, if your girlfriend fucks another guy, make a YouTube video about it. And then uh, just wreck yourself by telling everybody how bad a fuck you are. I think I'm fucking amazing, alright? And any girl would be lucky to have me. I'm not saying I'm God's gift to women. I'm just saying that if that relationship is happening, if there's a relationship involved or she's open to dating me and I'm open to dating her, that girl is fucking lucky, alright? And I'm lucky too because at the end of the day, hey man, good partners are hard to come by. But they're fucking lucky. There's no, like, no doubt... In my mind, that they're lucky because I bring something that's completely different. My friends have said this about me. They, they just know me as a person that's been more open. Uh, you know, I, I'm going to throw out a, a, a good old-fashioned uh, usury term. So, you know, a little economics on you. Uh, there's a saying, you don't throw good money after bad money. Uh, it's disastrous. And that applies to relationships. Bunty, if you're with a girl... And she cheats on you and treats you like a cuck. Don't throw good, <laughs> you know, don't throw good money after bad money. You've already invested into the relationship and it turned out disastrously. Don't follow that up by begging her to take you back so you can make her your queen. If you actually had self-worth and uh, you were confident in that self-worth, you would tell her she's a bitch because she is a bitch. And you would find another girl that's not a cheating whore. Just uh, a little Jimbo advice for everybody out there. And more for forward, more real with people than anybody else. We live in a world where people hide behind social media with these fucking nice stories. Like, I got married yesterday. Oh, I bought a fucking dog. Oh, everything's okay in my fucking life. Sick. Not really. Everything's falling apart. I'm the one that's going to be real and tell you that, holy shit, things aren't really that good. Or things are really amazing in this aspect. That's what I do. So I'm just letting you know, if you were in a situation such as mine, know your self-worth and get the fuck out. And listen, at, this, at the same time, you don't need to close yourself off to that person because I would at any point take her back if she would. Oh, that is so fucking pathetic. That hurts. That physically hurts to hear him say that. I know how much my self-worth is. I'm a great guy. Any woman be lucky to have me. And that cheating whore, I'd take her back in an instant. <laughs> I would, 
I would make her my queen. I would fan her with palm leaves. I would oil up her back. I would suck the shit out of her ass. What are you doing? What sort of man makes a video like this? Who advised you that this was a good idea? Was there some idiot out there, some YouTube manager that said, Hey, Bunty, you're an influencer now. Hit him with a heartbreaking story. I hope you have that excuse. Because this is fucking sad. What? Don't do this. If somebody cheat, it doesn't even matter. It's, it, anybody, if, if you're a chick or a guy, it doesn't matter. If you're in a fucking relationship and somebody cheats on you, that's it, done. Cut it off. Move the fuck on. Don't make a video begging to have them back. And then follow it up by talking about how much self-worth and respect you have for yourself. And allow yourself to get cucked twice. What the fuck are you doing, Bunty? Would to, wanted to fully commit to me and be like, listen, I am with you. I'm sorry. I'm with you. It's all good. Let's forget about this. I'll be like, cool. Let's forget about it. Let's continue our life and let's just not fucking watch Netflix together and go on dates and I'll eat your pussy whenever I can. Whenever I want. Which is pretty much all the time, by the way. It was all the time. How bad was he at eating pussy? <laughs> Can we talk about that for a minute? I think that needs to be talked about. Right, chat? Uh, to the guys out there that eat pussy. To the chicks out there that get eaten out since he's broached the subject. If he was really the world's most phenomenal pussy eater, if he was like muff diving champion of 2017. Oh, one second. Sorry about that. Dog was going a little ape shit. I thought they sent a skeptic kill squad to my house. But uh, back on subject, if he was the pussy eating champion, if this was the muff diver of 2017, like I said, I'm pretty fairly fucking certain that she wouldn't have left him. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put that out there. All the time, like I would have done it any time. Didn't matter. So know your worth. Know your worth, okay? And this goes for being, if you're a girl or a guy, know your worth if you're in a situation such as mine. And if you are a, per, in a, a person, if you're a person that's in a situation such as hers, please end it with the other person. I'm saying the other person that you're involved with before getting into some, something with another person. You don't want to hurt that other person who could potentially change your life for the better by staying with one person out of fear. You don't stay with someone because you're not in love with them. Just to put in context, by the way, I was involved with a girl, all right, who couldn't have kids. She couldn't have kids. Physically. So, the perfect woman, <laughs> right? I was involved with a girl who I could, uh, I could bear back whenever I wanted and never had to worry about her getting pregnant. So, the perfect woman is what he's saying. She could not have kids because of issues with her ovaries. This was something I went into knowing. But it grew on me and it grew on me and it grew on me and made me feel really bad because I want kids of my own. I want to be a fucking dad. I want to have daughters. That's what I want. My own kids. So I had to end it with her. And it was the hardest thing ever because I cared about her. She was great. We had we, we had a great emotional chemistry. And she was she was intellectually there as well. But there was something about it that was bothering me. And there was nothing there was wasn't room for that. I couldn't have room for that. And I knew that there was someone who could maybe treat her better. So I ended it with her. I didn't keep dating her and then have a fucking side girl. I didn't do that. I ended it with her. And I would end it with anyone, by the way, who wasn't making me happy. I'm not in there to be happy. And in a lot of ways, I ended it. I stopped talking to her. I said, all right, I'm done. Because I'm talking about my current ex-girlfriend. I said, I'm done because uh, you're fucking, uh, you, you just you can't commit to me. What am I doing there? What the fuck is that? Anyway, that's it. That's it. That's all I really wanted to say. I'm going to go ahead and just just put this out there. I don't care what it does. I guess I'm a fucking cuck. Because <laughs> at the same time, she was cucking this guy with me. And then she was also cucking me emotionally because she's still fucking there in this other relationship. Because I'm thinking, oh, she's just with me. I'm a cuck. <laughs> Uh, no, I don't think the bull's getting cocked, Bunty. I think you're getting cocked.
you're the cook. I mean, you're correct on that. That's a that's a good assessment, Bunty. Oh God, that is a painful fucking video to watch. Let me let pull this off here. Where are we? There we go. The absolute state of the skeptics. It's like every week there's a there's another story coming out. So we've got Kraut with gay ops. We've got Monday and Matt with rage rage flagging and uh, <laughs> accusations of uh, attempted rape at knife point. We've got Bunty King wanting to make the girl that's fucking another dude his queen. <laughs> it just is this fucking community. I swear to God, this fucking community is the saddest shit I've ever seen. Is there, are any of them normal? <laughs> like, is there is there one unfucked up person in the lot? <laughs> Again, I think the only ones that ever made it out and didn't completely uh, fucking implode were, what, Shoe on Head and Armored Skeptic. Because they got married and they got the fuck out of town. Oh. All right. Oh, that video. Fucking Christ. All right, let's, uh, we'll jump back to some super chats here. Uh, where, where do we leave off here? Popstar Kenny bugged molesting mechanics. Uh, we're back to talking about the Matt video. This should be entertaining. Sean Hollinger, blow my boulders, Jim. Cogboy, give all these skeptics the old acorn eye, Jim. It's a uh, trademarked, the old acorn eye. Sean McGinnis, what's up, Medicare? I was wondering if you could check out my latest video. It's two and a half minute cartoon. I'd appreciate it a lot. Uh, when I get the time, yeah, I'll, I'll check it out. Michael Fisher, Jim, maybe the whole YouTube username was a Freudian slip. Maybe he's into the kiddies. Rocket Insano, so your avatar is based on the TF2 scout, right? I figure you've said it before, but humor me. Uh, it's based off a picture uh, that looks like the scout, but yes, uh, it's similar. Nicholas uh, Cruiser, chat, definitely don't Google Sonya Cavalry Chapel. You definitely won't find the butter huffer man wanted to pork. Again, whatever you do, uh, Nicholas is telling you, don't Google Sonia, S-O-N-I-A, and Calvary Chapel, C-A-L-V-A-R-Y, Chapel. Don't do that. That would be wrong. Waxican, hail Sonia, mother of the Order's son, or Odin's son. Lennon McCarthy, this is, what I, or, this is when I learned there is nothing like a 13-year-old little girl scorned. John R. Burnstone. As a JW myself, I'd rather be a JW than Monday Matt right now. I believe that's JW Jehovah Witness. Uh, Ronnie Las Vegas, a reminder to feed Donna. Google it. Google it. Max Smith, now I'm 95% sure he assaulted a child. It's not uh, leaving the best impression in people's minds, I'll give you that. Unmundane Matt Fields, have you heard Matt's film school friend partner interview? He's not surprised at any of the backstabbing horseshit. Interesting you brought that up. Uh, we might be taking a look at some of that. We might be taking a look at some of that. Like I said, I've got a few things coming up. I've got some interesting Kraut and David things coming up at the end of the stream. Uh, a little bit of Monday and Matt stuff and a few others. Chris Cap, I think there. Um, I think he actually did this stuff. Larry Bernard, can someone teach Matt how to lie? Slothy, I've been accused of rape by three of the girls who I rejected. Seems like feminists, as they identify as, don't respect homosexual men. Uh, yeah, but I don't think these girls uh, were feminists. I think they were just little girls at church. So I think it might be a different situation. Lord Akira. Clearly Matt studied the blade while you lames were having premarital sex. Finger chickens, this is a lie. No human would want to fuck Monday Matt. No wonder he likes horses. They can say no. <laughs> they can't say no. Indigo White, best stream ever. Eric Mo, my er mine my orgasm with your pickaxe boulder boy. HDR to you. Was she one of those CIA sex agents Terry has been talking about? Maybe that's where he got it from. Uh, looks like there's a message deleted, so I'm not sure what that said. The Eagles Perch call this church Medicare, please. Mohala Maimula. Jim, he was in a very bad headspace. Rootless Cosmopolitan. Here are some shekels for you to buy some more pearls to clutch. Okay. Well, I'm sorry, but I'm not the one talking about drinking my own semen, horses getting fucked, and uh, cum shots everywhere. And then relating a story about how I was thrown out by an entire fucking church because the pastor and the pastor's daughter accused me of rape. Orgus Din, Fat Matt the Insane Ass Pained Bun Name. Shoko Bushu, I'm going to be my father and thanking him for not abandoning the family because if he did, I could have been like Mundane Matt. 
Grown Dome. Huge twist on Matt's story. I just got the news from Wet Bread herself. It was Mr. Medeker holding the blade and calling the house. Cough and Joe. Matt, take off those pesky church clothes, Jarbo. Nathaniel M. This is Chris Chan levels of creepy. Uh, it does, does leave a distinct aftertaste, doesn't it? Howard Welsh. It's called excommunication and it's rare as fuck. Yeah, I mean, I guess he was excommunicated from a church. Uh, Red Psy 1, good thing the church doesn't collect boulders. Clarence Green, pity Matt fell out of faith. He'd fit in well with the Pennsylvania clergy. Jessica used this. Only in Matt's head can he still be seen as a victim after talking about being a dangerous fuck around kids. Digger John, Matt should have planted, uh, planted cucumber seeds and ran. Max Smith, Matt missed his calling as a Catholic priest. Rando number nine, I'm surprised the old father has struck or hasn't struck this stream down yet. Leonard Manley, we need a deviant art symbol for this. Also the starting a new season of One Punch Man next year. Uh, one month or one punch man is great shit. So that will be great. Finger Chickens, this thirteen year old should now be referred to as Sonia Blade, because her name is Sonia and she was raped at knife point. Well done. Well done, Finger. Matt Reed, sounds like he's doing the Lord's work. Rational Ryan, why the hell did Matt upload this video? Uh, you have to ask yourself that question. What is it with skeptics uploading videos that make themselves look like fucking retards? It's a bit of a trend, isn't it? Viking Insane, is Matt a middle-aged Nick Bates? PC Principal, this boulder-haunting bitch who drinks his own cum and held a child at knife point says he's not a degenerate. Right. Sean Turner, Monday Matt didn't do nothing, he is an innocent boy. The girl was Zoe Quinn in disguise. The pastor was Brianna Wu before she transitioned to a female lizard. I could read more about that on InfoWars if the internet hadn't banned Alex Jones from every fucking thing. Server Lulz, keep up the awesome work. Monkey Saturday, Jim, I saw the newest 8-bit guy video in your recommended after Matt's video finished. It is nice to f uh, find a fellow boomer enjoying good computer content. Yeah, I love that guy's shit. Uh, I watch a lot of 8-bit guy. I watch a lot of LGR. Love their stuff. Uh, Joe Masters 575, thanks for the fun. Have some uh, shekels, goy. That guy from that thing, what stream okay? I is drunk now. Here to, I don't know, I'm here. Speak to me, Jimbo. Phoenix Rising, thank you. I'm woke, a woo. Insert internet, ins er, internet insanity on ghost from the True Capitalist Radio when? Why would, why would I do an internet insanity on True Capitalist Radio? Are people not familiar? <laughs> I guess uh, people, ah, uh, I'm getting old. If people don't know about that. All right. Energy's X. Was Trump's election a pendulum shift or a last stand or a fluke? I don't know. You'll be able to get a better uh, gauge of that, I guess, from the next election. So stay tuned. Uh, son of Skekmet. Jim, I hope the internet remains always entertaining and you never get bored. Your content is most entertaining. I love it. Keep it up. Martin Smorger. Yo, yeet, my fellow gay. The bro that survived, sup Jim, you can chill with Big Al 2K6. Also, have you seen, just keep that in mind lately. He's turning into Al 2 with every burger. Uh, no, I, I haven't talked to Big Al in years, and just keep that in mind, I have not seen him lately, so I'm not certain. Read a few more and we'll move on to some other stuff. Kodiak, your thoughts on the cult of Alut Alizim? No, I, I have no thoughts, I don't know what that is. Slazers, did you uh, like Eminem's new album? I don't listen to Eminem, so I have no opinion on it. Definitely Lex, can we donate to can we donate Matt to Canada? I don't think they'd want him. Goat Balloon just wanted to bring to everyone's attention that Matt is still losing subs. Not surprising at all, I'd have to say. Tabby296, I need more tea for this. Anon delivers, hey Jim, hope you're having a good weekend. Just wanted to know, uh, when are you going to show us what your kink is? I'm not done with Deviants yet, so just stay tuned for that. Sa uh, Saturn Tubes, can Jared, the subway guy, make a comeback? No, I think he's done. Super Hans, legal age in Japan is 14. Mike Thomas, Boogie2988, blew a fat load all over whale on Cosmos. TTOMZ, Monday Matt just uploaded literally anything since he wants views. Uh, we got about five more of these. Hentai Senpai, too much soy on screen. M, late to stream, but Jimothy Medeker, are you bullying a young man for having some nut in his mouth when you had two in your eyes? Uh, fair point, M. Point taken. David Supernor, I'm at work, so archive this, you degenerate. Uh, yeah, for people that want to watch this later on, it will be backed up and put on to Hal's channel. So if you want to watch this later on, it will be on Hal's channel. I'll put a link up to that later. Joe J, uh, make sure this money gets to Matt's family after the FBI sees those tweets. Jason Weaver, stop doing these bullshit Super Chat streams and bullshit with your actual chat again. 
but you just paid me five dollars, so. Uh. And Kate Arenal, there is no cock like or there's no cock like horse cock. Bad gem. I will get to the rest of the chats later on. Uh, but let's 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 take a look at uh, somebody had mentioned that Monday and Matt had a or a friend of Monday and Matt, somebody had gone to film school with, had done an interview talking about Matt. Now I do not want to watch this entire fucking thing because it is 50 minutes long. But let's see if we can find some time codes. Just give me a second to pull this up. Uh, for people interested, if you want to watch the whole thing, it's called Monday Matt's Former Friend Tells All, and it is on the YouTube channel of Drum R828. And apparently they interviewed somebody by the name of Michael, a former friend and business associate of Matt. And they talk about Matt's past before YouTube and the current controversy surrounding his false flagging campaign and lies. So we'll listen to a little bit of it. Uh, if there's something good, we'll follow through with it. Otherwise, we'll, we'll move on to the next thing. Hey there, how you doing? Okay, what's up, me? man? Not much, nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to talk to you too, man. I got a uh, comment from you in uh, my Monday Matt video, uh, and you let me in on the fact that you actually attended film school with uh, Monday Matt. Yeah, him and I met in 2005 uh, when I returned back to school after having my uh, my kid. Okay, wow. And I met him in uh, in school. We oh, actually was... teamed up. Oh, and, really? Uh, oh, yeah. We were we were pretty good friends for a while, um, and then he the same shit you guys that you're seeing now. He started way back then. He was doing that. Wow. He'd come to my sets and just talk a lot of mad shit. And then you confront them. Oh, I didn't say shit. I didn't say anything. So this is a dude that worked with Monday and Matt, went to school with Monday and Matt, and he's saying all the shit people are seeing online is the same shit he does in real life. He'll shit talk you and fuck with you. And then if you confront him on it, just like when he was confronted on stream, he denies any wrongdoing. Interesting. Yeah, interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. <laughs> Oh man! Uh, so, so to see this see this going down now is it's pretty crazy. I uh, <laughs> I'm not surprised. <laughs> yeah, it didn't sound like it based on your comment. Uh, so just for the record, uh, what film school uh, was it that you attended with Matt? Uh, Grossmont College. It's a it's a little community college. Is uh, that here in San Diego? Oh, okay, San Diego. Okay. All right, you know what? Give me a second, because this is really long. Uh, give me one minute. Let me see if I can find some time codes for some good shit. Uh, if not, uh, if somebody has the time codes, uh, tweet them out at WeWasMediker, and we'll come back to the video, and we'll watch the time codes of the more interesting bits of what's going on in here. But yes, apparently, people in real life that know Matt, he, okay, I want you to understand how extraordinary the fuck-up Matt has done is. Not only are people outside of that sphere of YouTube talking about him, like he's ga he's gained a reputation now for the shit that he's done, but people in real life that know him have heard about his fuck up, and not only have they heard about it, they want to relate stories about how much of a fuck up he was when they knew him. That's how that's how bad this is. Like that's how extraordinary Matt's implosion is. That people in real life want to join in on the fun. People that he knew want to make fun of him and talk about what a retard he is. Oh, that is fucking harsh. All right, give me one second here. I'm gonna I'm gonna see if anybody was able to tweet out any time codes. Again, that's at we was Mediker. Um, can't use the account, but I can see I can see if you send something. So let's see if we found anything. And then, uh, if not, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll move on to another thing. We'll, we'll come back to that another time. Oh, shit, somebody drew the picture. Okay, you know what, I'm gonna, I'll pull that one up. And I will show that on stream in a second here. Holy shit, they actually found the girl from the church. People on Twitter have found this chick from the church. Oh, that is gonna, and that's gonna lead to some funny shit. I'm just gonna say it right now. I just, uh, I could, oh god, people, yeah, a lot of people drew pictures of this. That's pretty good. I'll pull that one up too. I will share these in one moment. Oh, oh, more tweets. Oh, this is looking bad for Matt. What is going on here? 
All right. I'm, yeah, I'm not seeing any time codes, Chad. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sure the video is interesting. I, I know there's probably good shit in there. Uh, but I just didn't have time ahead of time to time code all this stuff. So again, if you want to see it, you saw it pulled up on screen. It's Monday Matt's former friend tells all, and that's on Drummer 828's channel. Uh, go check it out and uh, enjoy that. You know, let's let's take a look at some of these images. Uh, some of the artists have drawn. Uh, pull that full screen, and then that one too. Okay, all right, we got we got a few things. Let me we'll put up. Will this do this? I think so. All right, that's our first. That's our first picture. Uh, there's, there's, there's our church leader demanding that Matt impregnates her, and there he is uh, in his soy boy shirt. It's very well done. Uh, it's beautiful. Thank you very much. Oh, uh, we've got another one. Go forth, Monday, Matt, and a little girl screaming, "Oh God, please no!" Uh, it's, it's again wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Let's see if this one shows up. All right, somebody was tweeting these out, so let's. They're saying they're uh, some rape tweets from Matt. Tis the night before Christmas, and everyone on Facebook is talking about holiday stuff while I ser while I research the brutal rape of a 15-year-old. This image offends me to the core of my being. Rape is a two-way street, bitch. This image offends me to the core of my being. Rape is a two-way street, bitch. The rape you like, Jackson raped... Okay, that's not important. <clears throat> well, the slaves do, at least. I don't expect them to enjoy being raped. I'm nowhere near being spoiled. I wish you luck in college. I hope you don't get raped. It's always a nice one to throw out there. Dear Victoria Jackson, I really hope you are never raped and your evil hate-filled uterus is never infected with a bastard spawn whore. It's, it's a little bit harsh, Matt. Dear Victoria Jackson, I really hope you are never raped and your evil hate-filled uterus is never infected with a bastard spawn whore. And then finally... I doubt you really beat bitches off with a stick. I'm pretty sure you'd be pretty much happy with a belly full of cum. Try it. You gotta get that uh, semen out there. Gotta gotta share that with the uh, with the masses. Oh, Matt, Matt, what are you doing? Oh God. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, hopefully uh, somebody can get some time quotes on the the video. Read a few more super chats and then um, we'll jump to the next thing. Jump to the next thing. I'm, I'm trying to catch up. I'm trying not to miss anybody here. Uh, hopefully, I don't. Okay, I see a lot of a lot of shit talk of Bunty. That's good. <laughs> that's, that's good. Okay, there's a cucumber one. All right, almost, almost there. Sorry, I'm just making my way through here. All right, we'll we'll go through these quick, and then um, then I've got some interesting speculation about Kraut and T, and David Sherratt when it comes to the gay ops that were run. Uh, a, l a little bit of an angle I think might have been overlooked, an accidental perhaps conversation between some key players, and uh, somebody tangentially related to it. Uh, that adds some more insight into what the motivation behind all of that might have actually been. So we'll get to that, uh, but let me let me hit these first. Uh, Desar Creations, look at Jarbo the Hut, his new channel. Rando number nine, to be fair, you need to watch all seasons of Rick and Morty and browse Reddit 24-7 to appreciate Matt's sense of humor. TTMO, or TTOMZ, is Matt the George Costanza of real life, although George got pussy. Oof. Harsh but fair. Jack Durack, three. Old Bones, the academic Jeff Holiday will defend Matt's honor. Ronson, f fuck the flowers, give her purple hearts. Iron Wolf Spear, I just thought about this, but he had a kid, rip. Crimson, Mile, quit Christianity because they were too bigoted about knife-wielding rapists. Male feminist ally, Matt, hashtag me too. Four, honey, get my 12 gauge. Uh, people talking about the vote earlier on. Uh, Mason Slate, Jason Blaha is like the worst DSP. He's full of crap. Quite dense. YouTube shut down a bunch of Syrian channels. Uh, unaware of that happening. Cody, take my super chat virginity, Jim. Wreck it, only you can. Lich109, can we take a look at the Quarry King series, seven clicks to Hitler? Bob, Bob Dobbs, do you think anyone will ever successfully dox you? Probably. YouTube official, call me friend Riley Paul Woods... Oh, okay. 
call my friend Riley Paul Woods a tranny. Fucker, thanks. From YouTube official. Interesting. Didn't know Google was getting into the super chat game. Johnny McIver drew your pictures you talked about. I think we just looked at that. Uh, Alphonse Beltran, anybody else read the comments about Monday Matt looking like a thumb? Yeah, I've seen quite a few of those. Trump Nation, CBS CEO, Moonvase resigns amid new allegations of sexual misconduct. Is anybody surprised at this point? H, uh, HTRTU, Matt actually said once that he was bullied a lot in school. I think he said it on the kill stream shortly before he got buried. Guess it is a miracle that he didn't become a spree tard. Speaking of which, couch cuck video when it is coming. Chris to Hikari, version with rage from the CWC hit single, I want a, ver or, I want a girlfriend. Convoluted, have you heard about the H3H3 freemium cancer game yet? Every skeptic content creator is up their ass and won't dare talk about it. Uh, no, I, I, I don't pay attention to him, so I don't know what he's doing. Follow God's path or feel Tesla, or Tesla's wrath. Nine's his best girl. Bow Wow, you excited for Red Dead 2, Jim? Uh, yes, I am. Channel 5 Action News, are you surprised? Netflix made an entire cuckolding story from the Punisher series. Also, the show Big Mouth. Trump Nation, man arrested after nice attack in Paris, wounds seven. Well, that's just part and parcel of living in Paris now, isn't it? Philip Skopek, hey Jim. Well, hello to you. TTOMZ, why is the internet all me versus you now and no longer fun? It's always been like that, and that's part of the fun. Connor Potoff, grave news, Jim. Boogie has managed to manifest a subspecies of humanoid spliced with a genome from Boulder and mundane fats tissue cells. They've begun colonizing my planet and gorging themselves with rock and flesh. Save me. Tuba Lizards, if you, <clears throat> Tuba Lizards, if you liked Marco Polo on Netflix, read The Journeyer by Gary Jennings. Much better than the show. Lich109, Matt also had a video called Why I'm Okay with Doxing and Let's Talk About YouTube Drama and Why I'm Leaving It Behind. Maybe he should have held off on leaving it behind considering he seems to be at the center of it on a near daily basis for the last two weeks. Organized Chaos, how gay is Jeff Holiday? I don't know. He did show his dildo collection once. There are like a hundred of them. Commonus X, keep an eye on anti-bully mentions. The art you wanted is coming. Hans Handsome, mmm, rubs hands together, mmm, smacks lips. HH, what do you think of V's accusation of TRR and his apology afterwards? Are, are you talking about when V got uh, screen caps? Uh, that, uh, that, what was it, Negro Joe the Flag God had targeted him? And then Negro Joe the Flag God showed his flag history on stream and that was completely untrue? Uh, I, <laughs> I don't know why V would be listening to David Sherratt. Um... But there are some weird coincidences. Now, I may be wrong on this, and perhaps I am, but wasn't the woman that helped facilitate his fundraising endeavor, the 10000 bucks that he raised for some chick, wasn't that Harambe Desserts? And isn't that the same chick that was involved in Kilroy? Uh, the same Kilroy that Matt and the other skeptics attended? It's just, it's weird how these names keep popping up and relationships, they're all so incestuous and glad-handing. Um, I don't know why V would pay attention to anything shit rat has to say I, I guess that's a fault in his character but he did apologize he was the only one who did uh, none of the other ones did uh, Jesse M I can't believe you haven't covered the tr uh, tyranny fury getting fired from a na oh oh you're talking okay uh, from the NASA internship for telling a space council member to suck her dick uh, yeah the, the tranny furry they got fired because they ran off at the mouth at somebody who actually works at NASA and then that person that works at NASA got a bunch of shit because of that. Uh, they're an idiot. The the furry is an idiot. And um, who does that? Who gets a prestigious job and then insults the people that run the fucking business? That seems... Uh, they're going to have a bright future ahead of them. Rabid Colombian. If they were a couple, who would top? Trump or Putin? Uh, obviously Putin. Gustav Viking. Continue to do Lord's work. Sweetie Squad. Producer Chris, Jim, you're really, or you're not really Jewish, are you, Jim? Jim. Oh, clearly I am. Clearly I'm Ash or Ashkenazi. I, I go, I go to the temple once a week, goy. Uh, Nicole Narrows, Jim, did you hear about uh, Bettina Lancaster? Uh, no, I haven't. Quantum Tunneler, what happened to Hollowed Halls, Jim? I'm never doing any more of those. I've kind of moved away from that stuff. We'll read a few more. I'll get to the rest later. Uh, but I'm sure you're interested in the crowd shit, so we will get to that. We will get to that, Jet. 
Uh, James, James, how much uh, anime do you masturbate to J or daily, Jim? You weeb, I can't use the insult I want because Google won't let me send hate speech. Uh, I that <laughs> uh, Well, uh, Google will let you send a lot of things if you've heard, listened to any of the fucking super chats I've been reading. Just need to be a bit more creative, I guess. Colin Stevens, how are the weather weather or weather? Jesus, how are the weather wizards these days, Jim? I, I'm guessing they're doing fine. Jack Dirac, tell me why I'm stuck as a virgin with rage. Tell me why I need a cute girl my age. Tell me why I never want to hear you say I have a boyfriend. It sounds so much better when Chris sings it. Hands handsome, David Booth sacrificed everything. Fuck Kaepernick. Clarence Green, I want you to make a video on the shit shows about Opie and Anthony, but it's a huge task. I don't know where to start. Check out Beige Frequency and Porcelain. Read five more here, and then we're going to jump to the next thing. Retard, for being so mundane, he sure is degenerate. Siri, say my name. Am I doing it right? Why does it keep sending... Uh, I'm, I'm not sure what you're saying. Sending money. Xylon asked before... Okay. Asked before with $2. Not sure if it let you see it, or if I need to donate more. Have you seen Ghost from True, or True Capitalist Radio spurging about you? Uh, yeah, I read that earlier. Um, I, I feel like a lot of people don't know who Ghost is or what True Capitalist Radio is. Um, <laughs> uh, yes, I have seen. Okay, uh, two more and we're done for for a minute here. Electric Boogaloo V2, he had a crazy cat man laugh. And then finally, Trump Nation, Osaka claims U.S. open title after Serena meltdown. Uh, yeah, a couple people have been talking about the Serena Williams meltdown. I'll have to take a look at that. But now, let me pull this up, and it's going to take me a minute to do it. But uh, I think it's I think it's worth the I think it's worth going over. It is a conversation that took place between two people related to Kraut. So let me see if I can find this. Okay. And then let me pull this up. It should do it. Hopefully this is going to show. I've got to pull it up on my suspended Twitter account, but luckily it's saved, so it should be good. Window capture. Yep. Okay, here we go. Let's read this. I think this might give some insight into some background, and it, it's kind of interesting. This is between Wizard of Cause and David Shitrat. Uh, the conversation begins on the 29th. <clears throat> in the middle of a comment chain, but let, let's just listen to what they say. You're one to talk. It's funny how both of you fucked yourselves by tongue-clicking when good advice was offered. Difference is, with him, he took others down with him, and this is in reference to Kraut, and in place of an apology for what happened to me, he instead lamenting losing his shit. David responds, How did I fuck myself? Unlike you, I'm not worried about YouTube drama fucking my finances over. I did shit my way and the skeptics are burned to the ground. The alt-right is dying, and I can leave with this whenever I want. How's your way going for you, O oh wise one? Now this is the interesting bit. Shall we revisit when you were frantic about your lady friend? The place this all began? The help you begged me for? The way I told you directly not to bring that reckless imbecile in, and how he fucked that all up? I did nothing, or I had nothing to do with his crusade, and my shit died for it. The reckless imbecile I believe he's referring to is Kraut. And I think what Nick is saying here, what Wizard of Cause is saying, is the gay discord ops was started by David Sherratt because of some woman. David Sherratt, the incel, the man going his own way, David Shitrat started a YouTube war against Le Skeptics in the alt-right because of some woman that scorned him. That stuff is in the past. That was a fuck-up, but, uh, but it was a lost cause before it even started. It's ended, and I'm better off for it. You joined the server. You wanted to burn alt-writers as much as anyone. And I remember you talking about how you should use Kraut as a weapon. That wasn't why I joined. I was done with this shit in the first round, primarily because of that imbecile's personal army attitude and dumb decisions. When I joined that server, it was because I thought it was just where my friends were hanging out. I had no interest in a crusade. Uh, 
Okay. So. <laughs> There was a lot of speculation that the gay Discord ops were the end result of some black guy wanting to fuck Rage, and because she didn't want to fuck him, it started a skeptic war where she got driven off the internet. That was a theory that was out there. I didn't really cover it, but that was a theory that was out there. But I've never heard the theory that David Shitrat is the one that started all of this, and that he and the others were using Kraut because apparently they all view Kraut as a fucking retard. I, just take that in for a minute. This entire group of people thinks Kraut is a fucking moron, and that he can be used as a weapon. I, they probably don't even give a shit about him. He's just some disposable fucking tool. He's just the dumb asshole they point as an attack dog at somebody else. They wanted a face on the attack. But who is the woman that Shitrat and uh, Wizard of Kaz are talking about? What started this fucking holy war with the alt-right and the skeptic community? That seems like a fucking story that people might want to dig into. That there might be a whole other side to this that nobody knew about. And that it centers around David Shitrat, of all people, being the sole fucking cause of all of this. And that Kraut was basically a useful idiot to a group of people that don't have very much respect for him in the first place. That's fucking embarrassing. If I were Kraut, I'd be embarrassed to be treated like a fucking tool that can be thrown away at, uh, at a whim. To be referred to as a fucking imbecile. And an, an attack dog? Oh, the state of these people. And to have that conversation so fucking openly? That, it's just, it's kind of stunning, really. And in that comment chain, all the YouTube academics were talking. There was one species and all the other ones, so they all fucking saw the conversation. You think anybody told Crowd, hey, everybody's calling you a fucking moron that's usable? Or do you think they uh, didn't inform of that particular uh, <laughs> tweet chain? I see a lot of people speculating it was Lauren Southern. So is that what this is? Because she was on the target list. Let's come up with a new theory, chat. Here's my theory. David Shitrat had a crush on Lauren Southern. And Lauren Southern told his incel ass to fuck himself. And because he got turned down by Lauren Southern, David Shitrat decided he wanted to start a war with the alt-right and with anybody associated with the alt-right because he got his heart broken. That's why her name was on the list. That's why skeptics were uh, somewhat tangentially related. David Shitrat sold them uh, a bill of false goods by convincing them it was something other than what it was. Petty revenge against a girl that wouldn't fuck him. David Shitrat started an internet war because some chick didn't want to touch his penis. Is that is that the sound about right, chat? Is that, uh, is that the new, is that the deepest lore on this shit? So, yeah, I mean, David Shutrat couldn't get pussy, so he started an internet war, and then he looked for the dumbest skeptic he could find, which I guess he concluded was Kraut, because Kraut, as they refer to, is a fucking idiot imbecile, and they used him as a tool, and they continue to use him as a tool, all because David wanted his petty revenge. And he said, there, I'm happy. I burned the skeptics in the alt-right to the ground. I can do whatever I want now. I win. David Shitrat got his heart broken and started an internet war, and nobody took notice until he started talking about it a little bit more openly. And uh, I think Wizard of Cause has the right take on this, by the way. He doesn't want any part of these fucking people. I don't blame him. I don't blame Nick one bit. I wouldn't want to be anywhere near this shit. Oh, I like the nicknames, Chad. I see the nicknames you're coming up with for Lauren Southern in this uh, in this internet drama. Lauren of Soy instead of Helen of Troy. Uh, that works well. But, um, oh, yeah, I kind of want to dig on that now. I kind of want to look into this a little bit more because it, it gives a little more perspective on where this all came from. God, poor Kraut. <laughs> He's like the dumb kid. That got used by a, a bigger, dumber kid to do his dirty work. I wonder if he's fucking aware. Oh, the lore on this just never ends. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. 
Uh, I, I hope you like that. Somebody clued me into that, and I went to take a look, and I was like, okay, uh, that's actually fairly interesting. Uh, so, we've had some fun shitting on skeptics. Uh, we've had some fun looking at their goofy, dumb shit. We've had some fun coming to the realization that maybe a majority of the skeptic community that helped Kraut and Kraut himself were basically used by a fucking incel SJW to get revenge because a girl wouldn't suck his dick. And how foolish that must make them look. All of them, like Kraut and Waz and all the other ones, who basically joined for what they thought was another reason, but was really the fact that David Shitrat couldn't get some pussy. That you got used like a bunch of fucking chumps in some incels revenge plot on the internet. <laughs> oh, how embarrassing. All those YouTube academics with their PhDs who thought they were fighting the good fight for science. Nope. It's just because somebody couldn't get a piece of pussy. That's why you're there. It's all because he's upset Lauren Southern wouldn't touch his penis. Oh, 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 the absolute state of your community. Oh, oh, that's embarrassing. That is fucking embarrassing. All right. Um, thank you all for coming out. Uh, you know, we had a, a nice solid stream, I think. I'm going to read the rest of the super chats. I'm, I'm going to come up with a little graphic to break it. But if, if you were just here for the stream, if you don't want to stick around for the super chats, this is your time to jump. I will read through the rest and answer the questions and talk about whatever we're going to talk about. And then I will upload, like I said, uh, this stream later on up on Hal's channel. So you can watch it there if you want to rewatch it. Uh, thank you again for coming out. And we will jump into the Super Chats in just one minute. Let me uh, go grab a drink. I'm getting a bit dehydrated here. And then we'll, uh, we'll read through them. Okay, I am back. We will get through these. You know, as another aside, though, and I'd like to bring this up because I think it's important. Uh, recently, David Shitrat had accused the Ralph Retort of running a doxing server by posting up uh, select screen caps and convinced V and everybody else that that was true and they all went on a tirade about it. Uh, it was later revealed that the people they were blaming, uh, you know, were talking about it after it happened and uh, showed their flag histories and they were clean. It's interesting, though, isn't it, that David was the one that put those screen caps up. Because if David was using petty revenge as a motivation to go after Lauren Southern and got a bunch of dumb skeptics to do his dirty work, it looks like he did the same thing again. He put up a bunch of bullshit screen caps and got another group of dumb skeptics, like V and others, to go do his dirty work. So basically, he made V Kraut 2.0, and V went on to look like a fucking retard on stream and had to make an apology video. Just some food for thought on that particular situation. I don't know why these skeptical skeptics on YouTube aren't skeptical of the incel that basically is angry people won't play with his penis and take him at face value. All right, let me see where, where did we leave off here? From Colin Stevens, Bunty Queen raped my goats. Steve Bannon, you forgot to add the amazing atheist to the list of skeptic lol cows. He shoved bananas up his ass and poured hot oil onto his genitals. Max Johnson, I did the scenario you asked for with the Moses and Matt on the visitor post on your Facebook page. It's not much, but it gets the message across. Thank you very much, Max. Uh, and thank you to the other artists that drew that picture for me. Uh, they all look fantastic. It's good shit. Clever username, find her name lol. Uh, it looks like people have already looked her up and the church, so we'll find out where that leads. Jessica used this. First Matt, then V. We need one more kill on a kill stream to complete the ritual. Jim, who could be the next target or anyone you'd like to see go down? Uh, these people self-destruct. You don't need a... <laughs> this. You act like you have to go out and do it. Uh, they bring themselves to you and then implode. Colin Stevens, Bunty eats cream pied <laughs> wizard sleeve. <laughs> Oof. 
Energy's X on V, they have a 9 by 9 thread. So I asked Jim, what are your top 9 favorite games of all time? Fuck. Um, in no particular order. Uh, there are going to be a lot of PlayStation games, by the way. Uh, Brigandine. Uh, Brigandine is fucking amazing. Xenogears. Really good game. Uh, let's see. Silent Hill 1 and 2, I guess. So what was that? We're up at 4. Um, I'm going to go with... Oh, fuck. Let's see. What, what games? Did I... Legend of Ligaia. Uh, Grandia would be up there. Final Fantasy Tactics would be up there. I, I don't know what number I'm on. Uh, and then some one of the PS2 Ace Combat games, because those are fucking amazing. Uh, okay, that gives you a general idea. Oh, and Front Mission 4, I think, would be one of my favorites out of that series. Uh, Jorga Mundo, uh, Jorga Mundo 7, every story involving VidCon ends in stupidity, AK 47 your face, liberating, there is little doubt in my mind, Bunty got pegged by this chick, Lich 109, Matt talks about how he was screwing that church girl, yet he put out a video called, Why the Purity Pledge is a Lie, where he's the opposite. Sandberg, Matt told me on Hangouts once that he has your phone number, did you kids like to swap recipes, or is there another lie straight from the horse's mouth? I have never given my phone number to anyone on the internet. Uh, the only person I've actually ever talked to on the phone was Adam Baldwin. And that was for an interview on some radio show. Punished Creepworks, this just in, trashier YouTuber, or <laughs> this just in, trash YouTuber is a cuck. In other news, the sky is blue. Digger John, he's the alpha beta. 3x4 architecture, your positivity video autoplayed about four months ago, and I've been nauseous ever since. Uh, that's good shit. You can thank Lotex for that, because a good majority of the... Uh, you know, when people say, like, pause my neg hole, all that shit goes back to the article that was on the front page. Way back in the day. Enlightened to Apple Factory fanboy. Good evening, Jim. First Bunty King gets tossed in a fountain, then used to break a table. He's being cucked by Suge Knight, Rip Boogie. <laughs> Boogie dies every day. Goddamn. The God Emperor. Can we make him transition to a woman? He doesn't deserve to be associated with the male gender and sex. Stalin did nothing wrong. New tweets are up on Kiwi Farms. Klaus and Lord of Virulence. No wonder she loves getting dicked by someone else. He has no self-respect. Bunty King is now Bunty Cuck, bending the knee to the femini. M43OD, extrapolating from this Bunty's revelation. Consider this the mainstream calls the healthy masculinity. Now, there's nothing healthy about his mindset. It's a terrible way to look at relationships. Colin Stevens, Jim, look for Bunty's new video on YouTube. It's called This is How You Force a Cow to Produce Milk in Africa. That about sums him up in every way. For posterity, but Jim, Psychology Today said that women having boyfriends along with a relationship was natural before the rare oppression of society. Everybody loves my wife's boyfriend. Spud Nux, gay, or guy cucking him is the Pat the Ginger Manlet from SPFP. Is that true? The guy that was cucking him is Pat the Ginger Manlet from SBFP. R. Jeffrey 14, he wants her to be uh, his queen because he is a Kang. Kiwi Farms, this is why most Pajits just stick to show boobs on Vagine. Connor Potoff, y'all think Bunty is trolling? Uh, no, I don't. J. Woke John Key, nothing dries a pussy up more than this subservient shit. Jack Durak, Bunty is not trolling, this is genuine. This is not a comedy routine, even though it should be. Natless Warren, many thanks you, or to you, Mr. Medicare, uh, sir, for lols. Also for oodles, uh, for such a stupid super chat that's not worth more. Shy hugs. Fig Bat Denick, she got that Fig Bat Digger Nick. It's CJ, not Jamal. Well, whoever was cucking him was basically tapping that ass in a way he couldn't. Puppet Pal Clem, Bunty King eats cream pies. Trump Nation has tweeted me something in Arabic that I cannot read. Alfonso Beltran. Jim, remember when the term being gay was an unquestionable negative and universal insult? How long before being a cuck is no longer a bad thing and we start holding cuck pride parades? How long, Jim? Uh, <laughs> I do not have a great hope for the future. Alfonso. Joey Jojo, uh, their, face, or their face when I'm a big black bull in an incel's body. Super Hans, Keem is in the chat. Dances with Metroids, you can't fix the whore, but you can fix soy. Goaty McPimp, Jim press J to go back 10 seconds and L to go forward 10 seconds on YouTube. Not really related, but it'll change your life. 
was philopropes. I philo probots. There we go. Jesus Christ, Bunty, no. Oh my God, I need a hot shower. There's not enough hot soap to get clean after that shit. Alexian, more degenerate furry videos, please. Clarence Green, Bunty could be throwing degenerates off rooftops, taking er, taking women. But instead, he was born in Canada, prepping bulls and groveling. Shake my damn head. I don't know why he would make that video. It's not a good look. When you have to keep telling people how great you eat pussy and how great you are as a fuck, but the the woman that you're 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 talking about, you know, the one that you were supposedly giving the pipe to, you're laying the pipe down real hard with her, uh, is more interested in another guy, makes your claim seem uh, doubtful. Doesn't look so good. Bartimus five, uh, the Bunty video caused me physical pain. Welcome to the club, Josh Perkins. Thank you. Amazing 1985. This is why India got conquered by every invading army. This coming from an Indian. The Highwayman, this is a 13-minute video of a dude who has no understanding of women. This is some sad shit. Daniel Smith, this is me throwing good money after bad money to let Jim know that I'm confident he'll be a good father for mine and Jade's kid. Shalom, buddy. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Mikhail Mansbridge, to be honest, Canada is filled with hoes. Lots of dumb, dumb hoes. Sincerely, an Albertan. Party Alms V. Are Canadians genetically predisposed to cuckery, or to cuckoldry? I would seem that way, wouldn't it? Ramal Lamphy. I bet when he fingers, it's like playing Clitar Hero. <laughs> I don't, you know, he said he was more of a pussy eater, so I don't know what, I don't know what he's doing. Maybe he's spelling out, you know, uh, he's he's spelling out letters, right? That that old gem. Midri and Emery's Bunty is the most fantastic lover ever. His right hand tells him that all the time. His left is totally jealous. Seriously, he means it. Euler 108, please put him down. This is sad. Amazing 1985, I'll tell you why this happened. It's because there's too much matriarchy. And focus on marriage instead of bettering oneself in Indian culture, I know. Ghost fail. Came in late. Was Bunty's girlfriend blacked or bleached? You know, that's a good question. I don't know. Uh, chat, you want to help us out on this? Was Bunty King... Who, who was the bull that cucked him? Chat. Press, or press 1 if he was, uh, okay, press 1 if she was blacked, press 2 if she was bleached. Let's, uh, let's pull the audience, see what they think. Okay, the numbers are starting to come in, I'm going to give it a second, we'll see what the conclusion of the chat is. It's pretty evenly split down the middle, I'm going to be honest. I'm seeing a lot of ones, and I'm seeing a lot of twos. People don't know, is he blacked or bleached? I'm going to let you in on a secret, chat. It was a mixed race bull. He was mulattoed. The option was three that you were looking for. You've all fallen into my trap. Lich109, if you want worse videos than Bunty's video, just check out Matt's Purity Pledge video. <laughs> I, I don't know, maybe we will. If I can get through these super chats and we've got a little bit of time, we'll take a look. Uh, Slow Z, I got an interview with Ross. Where do I show you it? Uh, just tweeted it. We was Mediker. Account is suspended, but I can see what you tweet. Well, Majetic, I went out with a pregnant... I'm sorry. I went out with a woman my sister worked with who couldn't have kids. Wore condoms anyway. We broke up. Six months later, she was pregnant. Wear condoms. Eh, good advice. Will might be onto something. Sweet forward, Monday Fat is guilty of bad head spacing. The charge is 10 years of irrelevancy. Commissaire Warder, this is, er, there seems to be a correlation between the skeptics and sexual deviants. Are you noticing that too? Are you, are you noticing that too? Because I've kind of noticed a similar trend. A little bit of a similar trend. Um, where there seems to be weird sexual shit related to all of them. Uh, it, I think, if I remember right... Um, Sargon had a video where his wife was angry that he was flat, uh, like flirting with a tranny and uh, I think Short Fat Otaku has talked on Twitter about fucking trannies and then you've got Matt with I guess rape allegations and Bunty getting cucked and I think is Jeff Holiday in like an open relationship 
And again, the only two that seemingly have escaped unscathed in their own cocooned safe space away from these fucking people would be Shoe on Head and Armored Skeptic. Okay. Uh, Salacious Nicator. I guess Matt isn't Elfarious. Natalis Warren, all hail the blue whale, please. Yearman Box. Weird how incels like Cuck King and Chris Chan always have or always want to have daughters. That's a good observation, but yes, you are correct. Enrico, I'm high as hell and came into the cuck. Dead. <laughs> Akira Joker Kurusu, how did the cucking video go under the radar? Uh, I don't know. Somebody sent it into the Ralph R or the kill stream on the Ralph Retorts channel, and uh, they watched it there. Somebody came across it. Again, they have a lot of gold buried in their accounts. I just think people haven't taken the time to look through. Uh, Vokun Do Dinku? Honestly, I'd stick my meat stick in Shoe's hot pocket. Bruce Wayne, is your dog safe with Jade in the house? <laughs> I have a little bell on its collar, so he does get turned into lunch, Bruce. Fucking Watt, have a shekel, love you, Daddy Jim. For posterity, today is the 19 years since the North American Dreamcast release and Terry Davis running over the glow in the dark. A little uh, moment in history. Patrick's crazy, new place. Hey man, new to the stream, love your vids. Did you find out who got your channel pulled? Nope, speculation is still in the air on that. Groovy Snake, turn off that pesky cock block. Whirlwind, watch Thick News 12, Episode 1, or I'm sorry, Season 1, Episode 6, by Fruity Fresh Films. I'll, I'll throw that up one more time for you. It's called Thick News 12, Season 1, Episode 6, by Fruity Fresh Films. Not sure what it is, but there you go. Lou V, all of Matt's underage girls thought it's weird, especially since he has daughter. Child Protective Services, anyone. Liam, uh, well, now we know why he was for Jay Gunn. Anon delivers. Hey, Jim, hope you're having a good weekend. Just wanted to know uh, when are you going to show? Tell us what your kink is. I think you already asked this one. Uh, that will be in the Deviant series. I'm not done with it just yet. Uh, Thyree Carver, thanks for the big lulls that keeps getting better. Have a shot of pop off on me. Uh, thank you, but I'll, I'll convert that into Karkov because I like paint thinner. Dan Man, Serena Williams is a man. Change my mind. I'm not taking that bet. Brian Dawkins, I have not been laid in 10 years. Please advise how to get sluts. Well, Brian, I would suggest that you look at what the skeptics do and then do the fucking opposite of it, because that will put you closer to pussy than anything else could. Commodus X, your art is done. Check anti-bully mentions. I will do that. Fatal End 021, keep up the good work, man. Half-boiled hero. Hey, Jim, how do you feel about uh, greasy spikes? I'm guessing there's a joke there, but I'm not I'm not getting it. Recovery Anonymous, destroy CRP for talking bad about you. He is an annoying boomer with no original thoughts. Uh, yeah, somebody had said that he said he didn't like the most recent video. Uh, whatever. <laughs> They're YouTube videos. Some of them are good, some of them aren't. You know, I mean, what, are you, what, are you, what are you gonna do? They're YouTube videos. Not everything's gonna be the best shit on Earth. Alexander... Pushushkin, have a wonderful day. Party Almsvi, number one stream on trending page, boys. Suck at Google. Yo, Riccaroni, did you see how frustrated Fernando backpedaled on his stance on Battlefield 5? No, I have not. Matt, Star or Matt Smart, David Jones is a super gay. The, <laughs> the corporate moose, who's your favorite, Alex Jones or Francis E. Declan? Oh, oh, fuck, Francis E. Declan, hands down. Jones is funny. But Francis is next level shit. Rocket and Sano people can't seem to stop saying everything on their minds like some weird form of Tourette syndrome. Stalker quiet, gas Canada, gas Europe, gas Australia, Walmart nationalism now. Spawn freak Jim, I just want to say for the record, Pulley the polar bear did and said nothing wrong. Hashtag justice for Pulley. <laughs> Soilless Matt, leave me alone, Jim. Uh, let me taste my own man juice in peace, Trump Nation. Can you confirm your authorship of the New York Times anonymous editorial? I'm not even familiar with that, but I'm sure it's probably something of interest. I'll go. Ch I don't really read the fucking New York Times, so uh, doubtful I'd be writing for them. September clues number one on trending. Bet that Russell some boulders. V A W B C carry. If you're suspended, we can't tweet to you. Uh, you can put the username into it. Chrome Dome Drummer eight two eight in chat. Uh, nice to have him there. Again, that's a channel that has the interview. I've got a few more here, and then uh, we're getting close to the end. 
just make sure I didn't miss anybody here. Okay, Tavi Edwards, thanks for all the great vids and content, Jim. Uh, you're welcome. Francis Strong, hey Jim, can you please tell us one of your secret channels that nobody knows about? Well, that would defeat the purpose of it being secret, Francis. Demand of stuff, any thoughts on Kraut's pro-Nazi Facebook page? Uh, no, I don't. <laughs> I have not seen that. Mason Slate, does Jim only read five buck chats? If so, I've wasted seven dollars. Well, not because I'm helping cure his cancer aids, but still. I uh, know I try to read every one of them. Like the one directly above you from Bradley Cunts for two dollars. My favorite channel, keep it up, Jim. Ruben, would you call Monday Matt the Chris Chan of the Skeptic Crowd, or is there someone who's even worse? Well, we just did watch a 13 fucking minute video from Bunty King where he talked about a woman fucking another guy. So, I don't know, it's it's going to be a toss-up. Uh, Mater Wellen, hey Jimbo, you should check out ER's vids. They're pretty great and you'll get a kick out of them. I watch his vids. I'm aware of his channel. That's why when somebody said earlier that the uh, commentary community was trying to fuck with them, uh, that'll be amusing because he will fucking destroy them. Uh, Jacob Siegel, I'm late. What did Monday Matt do? Uh, the great, well, Jacob, he was part of the great boulder heist of April. The Bone Zone, listen to The Bone Zone every Sunday at 6 p.m. Central. Mason Slate, oh wait, never mind, he just read it. I have school to pay for. I can't be spending money like this. Fuck. Zed Tango, have you watched the Kavanaugh hearing Jim? They are great for a laugh. Uh, no, I haven't had a chance. Johnny McIver, lol, my drawing was actually a different one. Weirdness merch on IG? Natlin, a rip Terry Davis, he's now running CIA Nibbers over in the great beyond. Uh, from Sweet Forward, thank you, Jim. This was fun. I'm glad you had a good time. Space Shank, 14,000 watching. Spoonie bragged about 600. LOL. Uh, okay, I don't know. Where is this? I, okay, I lost my spot now. Oh, you know, somebody, Sam, you can't end the stream without playing the new Baked Alaska rap. Okay, uh, if somebody, can somebody in stream link that to me? I'm, goddamn, 10,000 of you are sticking around for Super Chats? All right. You know what? Fuck it. We're going to, we're gonna, you know what? I'm going to go be, uh, we're going to do it. We're going to fucking watch the Baked Alaska rap. Somebody link it to me on Twitter at We Was Medicar, and we will watch. Somebody earlier on mentioned a uh, purity pledge video from Monday Matt. We'll watch that too. Fuck it. So if you guys can send me the links on or at We Was Medicar on Twitter, I will play them on the stream. Let me just get through the rest of these. Trevor Metvir, uh, love you, Daddy Jimbo, uh, Medicarstein, deport all Nigers and Kikes. Trying to get around that spelling, are ya? <laughs> Google is uh, cracking down on that. Huey Long, I think David Shitrat was dating that ex-Muslim chick that threatened to bomb you, Jim. Uh, that's what I'm saying. It's weird. It's all interrelated, isn't it? Problematic White Knight, I'm willing to bet Lauren Southern was the one who cucked Bunty King. Once a coal burner, always a coal burner. Willow Run, number one trending live. Sweet Forward, Kraut is a weaponized autist. Laugh my ass off. HCRTU, first baked, then JF, now this. When will they learn? Women ruin everything. From O Zero, they were all using each other as disposable for their own loosely related personal vendettas. Commissar Warder, always trust a merchant to fuck things up. B98K Finnegan, press one if Kraut is a shekel European. <laughs> it's a new one to me. Um, fresh whole milk, the lady friend may be Spino's Katari ex e-girlfriend. Veggie bad, is this Kraut situation Kojima's newest game? It could be, right, with all the fucking twists and turns? Connor Potoff, father, don't leave us again. Sweet forward, oh, I already read that one. Oh, but again, thank you. Uh, Akadan, Jim should join Ghost on uh, the Capitalist Radio. That'd probably be fun. He's a funny guy. Connor Potoff, we have spent our last rations, Jim. I fear Boogie and the Boulder people have fully taken our front line. If there is a god, there is SOS Godspeed. B98K Finnegan, what kind of bundle of sticks spends a hundred dollar dues on a super chat? Uh, nice, nice sidestepping of the filter they put in place. Zebra House, did you hear Tonka defend Kraut on Tommy C stream saying he didn't do or did you hear Tonka defend Kraut on Tommy C stream saying he didn't run a doxing server? Uh, no, because I don't fucking watch Tommy C. Uh, but I am aware people have told me Tonka is uh, defending Kraut quite a bit. <laughs> good luck. I'm sure. I'm sure it's a good luck. Trump Nation, can we please end this video or with the video of Serena Williams spurging out after being penalized for cheating? 
the chat wants it. Again, if you guys want to see this stuff, you got to link it to me at WeWasMedicare on Twitter, uh, almost at the end of the Super Chats, and we will watch some stuff. Hey, Dan, why, or Medicare, why did you leave religion? I didn't leave it. I just uh, became uh, indifferent to it. Uh, it's a long story. Nobody wants to hear the story. Especially when we've got more entertaining things to watch. Uh, Mike R., I generally like you, but how can you hang out with ex-con, broke 500-pound, has-been clown with Down syndrome girlfriend like Ralph? Well, uh, Ralph has entertaining streams. It's pretty simple. Uh, Night Stalkers Gaming, here's a picture of a catfish. Thanks, Jim. Dagman, Monday Matt is un pajaro y la gusta pinga? I butchered that, I'm sure. Ignatius Cray, Jim, have you ever played or heard about the Front Mission 5 fan translation? That series is amazing and it doesn't get enough love. Um, I think it was... I, I'm trying to remember now. I think it's Classic Game Room. I uh, had a Japanese PS2 and... I think they, they did a review of it. I don't know, but uh, I love fucking Front Mission. But I'm not going to order a Japanese PS2. Uh, Trump Nation, Ruth Boogie Ginsburg died. A great loss for our country. He will lie in state for a week-long funeral like John McCain. Sergeant Scotty, are you looking forward to the Ace Combat 7? Yes, I am. Akatan, when will Jim confront Ghost on True Capitalist Radio? I'm not going to. Ghost is great. Sebri, I'm an incel, and even I cringed at the cuck. You know, something's wrong when an incel can tell what you're doing is wrong with a woman. Uh, yeah, it's it's the lack of... I don't, it's just not manly. Don't don't let yourself get cucked and then beg her to come back to you. That just is... Oh, it's a bad look. Too many accounts seed money for your trip to acquire that lady... Or that Thai lady boy? Almost at the end here. Uh, almost, guys. And then we'll get to the videos. Spud Canucks, I, if I recall correctly, Bunty was after Peach Salvia, who's Pat's girlfriend. I, I don't know anything about that, so I, I, couldn't, I couldn't comment on it. But if she starts tweeting out laughing about him being a cuck, we'll know. The Orange Cow, do you plan on doing a stream on Risa Terra still? The stream was great, but I needed my NeoGAF 2.0 fix. Uh, yeah, I will eventually get to that. But with all the match shit going on and the other stuff, I just wanted to talk about that. John Moss Demerbras, uh, what happened to Bunty? What's the full story? You can find it if you <laughs> go onto YouTube and look up "I am not a, or I am a cuck" by Bunty King, and the follow-up video he did called "I am not a cuck" by Bunty King, where he gets angry at the comments that were calling him a cuck. <clears throat> uh, Trump Nation, a moment of silence for a lost American hero. John McCain's tumor will be remembered as a war hero and for deafening or defeating the enemy. Lady Cat, Chew let skeptics cuck her and has some weird BDSM relationship. Caleb Lambright, why wasn't I notified? Missing a gym stream, damn. Dusty G, I, uh, have you hugged it out with the Honey Badger crew yet? I think Karen uh, has a thing for you. I, I have nothing for her or the Honey Badger crew. I know they're waiting on my essays, but they can keep fucking waiting. Uh, white Slave Owner, Mr. Metalcore, would you consider going on to No White Guilt Channel would make for a great stream. Uh, I don't think I've watched their stuff, so I don't know. I'll check it out and take a look after stream. Uh, Vera attacks late as fuck, but thought I'd worn off. Uh, two more super chats, and then we're into the videos. Late as fuck, but thought I'd sworn off anime over a year ago. Finally watched Steins Gate. It's one of the best things to come out of the medium. Yeah, I've heard a lot of people talk about it. I haven't personally seen it. I know there's some games around it too. Um, I don't know. When I get the time, maybe I'll sit down and watch some. And then finally, Sorrow Spell. Have I missed anything good? <laughs> well, potentially, depending on how you define good. All right, let's let's pull this up. I will pull up Twitter, see if somebody sent me the links like I asked, and if they did, we'll watch some fucking videos. So give me one moment. Oh my God, is this his fucking music video? Okay, all right. Uh, we've got the new video from Baked Alaska. We'll be taking a look at. Oof. A lot of people were on top of this. Okay, all right. Let me let me get this up for the chat. Uh, this is the new music video, the new rap song from Baked Alaska, called "Trump Is My President." 
Uh, and it's blowing up the charts right now, guys. It's sitting at 3,000 views. So let's go take a look at the hottest song in the fucking nation. Trump is my president. Yeah. It's taking so long. Oh, and by the way, I'm going to have to interrupt this while we watch it uh, to make it fair use commentary. Just so you know. But here we go. For us to get to this point. But we won. We are going to make America great again. Yeah. The liberals are crying because we never stopped fighting. Started on the Trump train and now we're all flying. It's not even links, or it's not even lip synced properly. Look at this. Watch, watch, watch his lips as this auto tune shit is playing. He, it's not even properly lip synced. Fighting started on the Trump train, and now we're all flying. Never look behind us. We were deaf to the bias. We took a leap of faith at a Trump state because we always knew that it would guide us. Now we're winning so much that we might get sick of winning, but I don't think so. And we're swimming to the top, not stop in the house while they're peeping in the window. And I didn't think we'd get this far, but now we elected our hero. And I didn't. Is this motherfucker in the desert in a golden black windbreak? <laughs> like, what the fuck is he wearing? Oh, this is painful. I, I don't know if I can sit through this whole thing. We'll watch a little bit more. Uh, oh. I not want to bring this up, but illegals, you gotta go. This is my president. 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 Trump is my president. Earned our side flag, Raja. Now we're screaming out my. Okay, this is fucking awful. This is just trash. Bakes, what are you doing? The auto-tuning sounds fucking awful. And your lyrics are shit. That was that was your chorus? You said, this is, the, uh, this is my president eight times? And then said, Trump is the president? That's, oh, God, it's fucking... It reminds me of, you know, those, uh... You know the little rich kids on YouTube that hire, like, a music producer to make them some shitty fucking auto-tuned music video? That's what this is, but instead of a little rich kid... It's a dog walker from California doing it. Ugh. Sad. That is sad. I'm sorry, chat, but that is, uh... That is depressing. That is fucking depressing. Yes, he was doing jumping jacks. He was, he was doing jumping jacks. That was his hot dance moves. So he's giving you the best lyrics possible by saying, This is my president 18 fucking times. While well, he did jumping jacks for you. How white can he be? Could he get any whiter? Is it possible? Should he be called Bleached Alaska at this point? <laughs> Maybe stop rapping auto-tuned? Maybe try country music baked. I don't, I don't know what the fuck you're doing, buddy. Okay. Somebody else suggested uh, the Serena Williams clip. I'll see if I can find that. We'll throw that up. I'll read the rest of the super chats, and then yeah, then we're gonna, then we will we will call it. Let me see if I can find this. So apparently she spurred the fuck out during a match because she got caught cheating, is what people said. Ah, that should be actually entertaining. Let's go take a look. just trying to pull the video up right now. Alright, I, I don't know anything about this. I don't know how entertaining it's going to be. We'll give it a shot. If it's shit, we'll move on. But uh, let's take a look. Should be up on screen. Uh, 2018 U.S. Open uh, highlights Serena Williams' dispute overshadows Naomi Osaka's first or er, final win. Serena drifted back and Osaka's lob just on the baseline. Carlos Ramos in the chair. If he gives me a thumbs up, he's telling me to come on. We 
don't have any code, and I know you don't know that, and I understand why you may have thought I, that was coaching, but I'm telling you it's not. I don't cheat to win. I'd rather lose. I'm just letting you know. It was a coaching violation. I guess it was a thumbs up, and Serena's setting him straight. That, that is not coaching. I don't cheat to win. I'd rather lose. I don't know. My initial impression on this, I, I don't think some dude giving her thumbs up is her getting coached. I mean, I, I, I actually can understand why that sounds fucking retarded to her. Is there more to this? Okay, thank you, because I'm like, I don't cheat. Yeah, so thank you so much. Mm, another one does not want to give away the momentum that was so hard to win in the first place. I was just going to say she's serving better this set, and then she had two doubles. Okay, I don't want to get nailed for a copyright thing. Is there a particular fucking uh, time? Remember, for the emotional exchanges between Williams and the umpire, who handed three violations, including a game penalty. Let's skip ahead a little and see what happens. Oh my goodness, this is very unfortunate. Serena's asking for the referee. Osaka was ready to serve at 4-3. It was hard to hear over the crowd, but Carlos Ramos said game penalty. We said... Oh, so this is what it's about. Okay, so she's throwing a fucking tantrum because she doesn't like the ruling. Save that shit for after. Or talk to the ref, but yeah, I can see. Okay, all right, I see where this is going. I'm not a big tennis guy, so this doesn't really affect me. I'm sure there's funnier shit on the clip, but... Eh. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry on that one. All right. Uh, well, l let me read through the rest of these, and um, and we'll call it an evening. So one second, Chad. Okay. Not too many more. Uh, from uh, well, yeah, there we go. From uh, Nelton. Hey Jim, look into the Anton hand on Twitter. The devs of hot dogs, horseshoes, and hand grenades. Some of the stuff is rarded as hell. I will take a look. Aidan, no cock like horse cock song. Son of Tiamat, I'd ask when Sargon is going to implode like Matt and Kraut, but he's already imploded several times, so I guess it doesn't matter. Pinky Culture, Jim, did you move to Texas yet? Uh, no, I haven't. Russell T. Shackelford, have you heard Hard Bastard News Streams? Magnificent. I uh, have not watched them. Alex Majorson, hey Jim, did you get my message on Facebook? You fake it. Uh, no, I don't really use Facebook very much. Uh, but I will take a look. Lenpa, upload this to Brightside Bob. I feel half as or I fell half asleep. I fell asleep halfway. Now I'm fucking up words. Trump Nation sent you the link from Congressional T. Space Shank laughed when McCain died, but shed a tear for Terry. A lot of people did. Dog Pants, Square Cheese, Dame uh, Dami Pesos in the chat. William Hurt, all we came here to hear are stories. Tyler Nicholson, Jim, you regret GG for all the soy boys it spawned? I did spawn a lot of soy boys. I can't disagree with that. Graz Hero, make an expose on the fake death by Terry Davis. Thin Reaper, commentary community going after ER explain. I, I couldn't explain it. Somebody brought it up in a super chat. The Orange Cow, baked has literally become R the Donald Incarnate. <laughs> Squeaky noise. Huey Long, baked Alaska and Logan Paul are friends. Troy Fowler, what the fuck did baked Alaska get trolled? Sad I miss a stream though. Lord Akira, here's er, er, he's at Disneyland. He's at Cars Land and Disneyland CA Adventure. Is that where he filmed the shit? Matt Baked makes me want to sterilize the human race. The job or the Joe Blow show is Baked Alaska, the alt-right Rebecca Black. Uh, that is a fair fucking description. Fingered Chickens, what the fuck did I come back to? Why is Baked Alaska spewing trash? Uh, when is he not? Euler108, what the fuck are you talking about, Minotaur? It's beautiful. James Bursai, Jim, did you send your right-wing death squad to vaccinate Baked Alaska? Seems the best explanation for his level of tism. <laughs> yeah, the Sweetie Squad got him. Western Redwood, Jim, I know you hate us, but there are easier ways to Jonestown your audience. Please, please, please never make us listen to <laughs> Backed Cancer again. Your I right, Rip Terry Davis, those damn CAA coons got him. 
Mega Darsh Baked is wearing Nike in the vid. Lol. Bow Wow, did you hear about the Soul Brother or Soul Bro the number three calling you a sociopathic man child who panders to racist shut ins? Uh, no, I have not, but I'll go check that out. Dude, Dandenstein, uh, thanks. And Caleb Lambright, Jim searched <laughs> search banned Folgers commercial by Barely Pot or Barely Pole, sorry. Uh, almost done. Rhino4563, the coach admitted he was giving her signals at the end of the match after she made a spectacle of herself. Uh, Dude Danerson again. Dances with Metroid. Serena sounds like a woman at Walmart asking for a manager. And Trump Nation, I sent the link from Congressional T, has a meltdown distilled into three minutes of pure autism. I promise it's better than what you saw. I'll have to check that out after. And then finally, uh, Blow Me One Cannoli, Fist a Clown for Jesus. All right, thank you everybody for coming out. Hope you enjoyed the skeptical shit show. Uh, I, again, to to sum up, Matt told us the wonderful story of his <laughs> of an entire um, congregation of a church and a pastor asking him to leave after he was accused of raping or attempting to rape a girl at knife point. Uh, Kraut apparently has been used by the Machiavellian mastermind uh, incel David Shitrat in his quest for revenge against Lauren Southern not liking him. Bunty King is. Uh, the incarnation of a cuck and uh yeah so same old same old uh enjoy the rest of your sundays i hope you had a good weekend uh have a nice one